Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, so I'm here in Kentucky at Minotaur. As you can see on the table, there's a whole bunch of stuff out here on the table. We're going to be checking out different things tonight. And I have a case of British cold weather or cold climate rations. There's eight of them in case. I have actually never seen a case of these before. And we're going to open that box up tonight. Pretty excited about that. I literally just got this case this week. And uh, yeah, man, I'm really looking forward to checking that out. And let me, uh, I got to send out a notification here really quick. Uh, there we go. Uh, Bob's here and Dub C is here. So uh, you guys. Hey guys. Turn the camera up here and well. That's good. You're fine. There, there we go. Was. They come over there and say hello. Going, so you're going to be hearing their voices. Hey everyone. And we do have a lot of uh, Minotaur products down here that we're going to be checking out. We're probably going to start off with something from Minotaur, just because I have not had my hands on any of this no, stuff. No, we want to start off with the Bob wants British. to start with the with the British. <laughs> I'm excited for the British. Uh, let's see here. Let me take a picture. Real Bam! Quick. Pat Miller's in the house. What's up, guys? We got twenty. Seven people here already. That's nice. that's really good. Uh, Miss Maryland, shocker. I am on some different internet, as you guys can expect. I am doing it from my typical live stream device, so hopefully everything goes smoothly. Last time I was here, you can go back and try to see that live stream. It it doesn't exist because uh, I had internet issues the entire time that I was here. That we had somewhat of a, a small mock meetup, and uh, yeah, I'm glad to be here. And show you guys this stuff. And actually, it's, I'm, it's looking real good outside. I'm hungry. It's okay. Yeah, 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 it looks good on camera. Everything looks really good on camera. I think I do have things tilted a little bit, which is my fault for moving the tripod like I did. And let's see. We got to open that case. There we British. go. Oh, we're definitely going to open the case of British for sure. So I, I did want to mention this too. Last time I was here and met up with Dove C, he hooked me up with this DeLorean. And I, I, I'm super stoked to have it. It's been sitting on my table at the house. And the last two weeks I've been meaning, I set it off to the side because obviously I have to use the table for the live streams. And I set it off to the side and I'm like, I want to mention this. And I keep forgetting to mention it, but uh, it lights up. <laughs> I don't know. I, call me a kid, whatever. I've collected Hot Wheels. I've collected different types of toys and cards since I was a small child. And that's just kind of right up my alley and things that I, I do have some hot wheels deloreans which i think they started making i don't know i have some of the newer ones probably 2016 17 when i saw them so all right i'm gonna set that off to the side i did uh, talk about that finally and i did have an extremely long drive here so i may end up sitting down at some point during this live stream i don't know but i do know that we're gonna start off okay right here I'm going to mention these to start off with. I don't know what the sound is like. Hopefully the microphone's picking up good. But Dub C mentioned he's making his own ration here at Minotaur now. And he made these particular menus because I think it's pretty well known within the ration community that we all kind of complain about not having enough breakfast menus contained in the United States rations. Well, he's trying to solve that. We've got some breakfast menus here this one is uh they're both mueslis which is uh you know kind of the european oatmeal is what i would say and uh i don't know exactly what's going to be in these other than some coconut chocolate muesli we'll open them to find out yeah and some raspberry blackberry muesli now i am a huge fan of certain types of oatmeal and mueslis especially the time the type that have fruit in them i'm a big fan uh, you know, yeah, I used to, to that one, then. well, I used to hate oatmeal. Like I, I despised it. And then I don't know what changed about probably like 2014. I rediscovered oatmeal, blueberry oatmeal and banana yes. oatmeal. And I ate it every day for breakfast until the day I got hurt. And then I wow. stopped eating oatmeal and I just couldn't stand the, the smell of it, the sight of it. Enough. I don't know what happened. Another thing that I used to do before I got hurt. I used to play Black Ops. Well, not just Black Ops, but any Call of Duty. I was hardcore into the online gaming. Like, I would set up for hours at night after working a 12-hour shift 
and play <laughs> six hours of my wow. time off on online. And I just loved it. And then after I got hurt, I like lost all desire to play the game. And I don't know why I'd like to get back into it. Cause I was actually pretty good at one point. Nice. I'm not, I'm not trying to brag, but I was, I was really into the zombies and it loved it. Men, go ahead and mention that he's got his website. Oh yeah. Up. It's yeah. live now. So right at the top. Oh, Hey, wait a minute. Going to have to wait on that. So MRE Kid says, when is Black Dog Bob going to put root beer in an MRE for me? <laughs> Working on it. Well, Working on it. Hopefully, uh, you know, it's really hard to make a root beer. Now, thank you for that super chat, oh, by no, the no, way. No. We've got we've got a pallet of Minotaur Trade Company root beer that should be here long before Thanksgiving. And we have a special ration that we will be packing a 12-ounce bottle of root beer in. Special what? packing. Yeah. A glass bottle of root glass beer? Glass bottle. Okay. We got special packing for it. It's all right. So they're going to be packing up glass bottles into rations. That's um, right. <laughs> so they are going to be putting root beer into a ration. MRE Kid, you just got your answer from Bob himself. And uh, it sounds like he's kind of going down that route just because he's been hearing you talk about it, maybe. I don't know. So what I was saying was right in the very top of my description, there is a website link to Dub C's store. Okay, it's dubc.com, I think. Dubcstore.com. Dubcstore.com. It's it there's the link should be clickable because I should have I think I typed it out the way he told me to. If it if it's not, hopefully you can find it anyway cuz I didn't get a chance to check that. Maybe Bob can check that I'm right now and right go to the now. description. And that also there is a discount code the first time that you visit the website, anything that you order, you can get 15% off your entire order by using Dub15, right? Yep. Dub15. It's, yep. it's not clickable, but the website's there. Yeah. Okay, so it's not a clickable link. I don't know why not. It should have been. Um, I can't add it now. But anyway, we are well into the live stream. I can't add the clickable yeah, link now. Yeah. But if you guys just type in dubcstore.com, it should take you to dubc store and use the code dub15. You can get yourself 15% off your entire order. You got a super chat from Smitty. Stuff like this. Oh, okay. Missed a super chat from Mr. Smitty. Can't be doing that now. Get rid of the root part, and no. now we're talking. <laughs> All right. Not exactly legal. Hey, Horny Animal just came in with a $20 super chat, man. Holy cow. Thank you so much for that super chat. And Smitty. Thank you for the super chat. Horny Animal says hello to everyone. Hello to Mr. Mrs. I don't know. <laughs> Horny Animal. Your name doesn't give away what uh, is going on there. So thank you for that super chat. And Smitty, dude. Yeah, good luck on that part. <laughs> I got to say. Yeah, that had to be a 21 and over ration. I don't least. know if that's going to come come about. And MRE Kid, thank you again for your your words about the root beer. Got, definitely got a conversation started here on this end that I didn't know about. So thank you for all your guys' super chats. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, looks like we got Tracy. There is uh, K-Man himself from MREinfo.com. Let me just throw up an MREinfo.com logo because very rarely do I have something like, look, this thing has seen better days. I <laughs> use this thing every single day. But, uh, yeah. MREinfo.com. If you guys haven't visited the website, definitely do that. Uh, everybody who's into rations usually is – made their way through there at some point in time and they're in and out of there all the time. So definitely go and check that out. Now let's go ahead and open up one of Dub C's rations right here, just because I'm curious. And this is a breakfast menu. I'm going to go ahead and rip this bad boy right open. Got your peelable seal that I just uh, definitely did not do a very good job peeling. I think, everybody's, out. I think everybody's going to like the drink in this one. So oh, I've man. tried some things uh, just within the last 10, 15 minutes before starting this live stream that I didn't think would ever be in a ration. So I'm going to show you guys those as well. Let me go grab one of them right now because I just want to talk about this one. Because <clears throat> it's really good. <laughs> it is a vanilla cookies and cream shake. And it's lactose free, whatever that means. Um, obviously, there's no lactose in it. But... If anytime I eat ice cream or anything anymore, it kind of gives me a stomach ache, which this won't do that because there's no lactose in it. But it's it's freaking amazing. <laughs> it's like kind of like a milkshake. Mmm. Mmm. Right. Where I left it sit. 
they cookies are really the, oh, well, yeah. the cookies are really soft now. They mm-hmm. were crunchy whenever I yeah. tried earlier, <clears throat> which was good too. It kind of texture difference, but okay. I got this ration opened up. Let's take a look inside. And then we're just starting off with. I, I'm working on two other menus as well. But okay, we got the so breakfast. this is the first two menus that yeah. he's got right. done. Going to put two other menus together. This is the orange cream sickle drink that I'm hearing so much about. Yep. Definitely going to be trying that out. You can. What? There you oh, go. oh okay. okay. That's the Dubs drink mix, I guess. Here we have the Megabyte Trail Mix. Is that focused? It's not yeah, focused. Yep. There That's we good. go. All right. So this is a sweet and savory mix. It has peanuts, almonds, strawberries, sour cherries, cranberries, raspberries, blueberries, and what? Bing cherries. Bing, bing cherries? cherries. What? What's a bing cherry? I don't know They're what a bing cherry super is. Super good. They're good for you too. There's a super chat. Ryan outdoors to the super chat for ten dollars. Uh oh. All right. Let me uh limp my says, Hi, Bob. stuff over here. Dub, I ordered one of each, brother. Can't wait to review. Awesome. Nice. Okay, Thanks, Ryan, Ryan Outdoors is uh, already placed in order. I bet he went to Dub C store too. You guys check that out. You get fifteen percent off your first order. It's probably worth a visit. Oh, can I mention something about that real quick? Sure. Guys, y'all know on, on Minotaur Trading Company, we have the tip jar, and you know we use that tip jar to, to be able to send stuff to different community members that are going through difficult times, you know, losing everything in a house fire or losing their job or whatever. Dub C Store has a tip jar also, and he's doing the exact same thing that, that we do at Minotaur. So if you if you add a tip, that tip is not extra money for Dub. It's money that goes to community members that are in need. Oh, we got another super chat. You guys, Quantum Potato did a super chat. It says, "Good to see you again, Smokey, and good to see you reviewing Rat Packs from my neck of the woods." Oh, that's awesome! So you're from here in Kentucky, it sounds no, like. Oh, no. you're talking about the UK cold weather's up here. I, yeah. I see the money, the denomination now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what; these are extremely hard to come by. There has been a few popped up on eBay singles, and there was a guy that was selling a few that were open. And uh, he took he opened them to take pictures of the contents for eBay, and I was like, mm. "Dude, <laughs> he, he didn't cut them open nicely. He just kind of ripped them open." It was, anyway, uh, but yeah, these these are definitely that's a ration that I've been wanting to get my hands on for years, literally years. I've been looking to get my hands on one of the cold climates or Arctic's. You know, they changed the name of them a, a few times, and. Uh, yeah, man, I'm really excited about those. I gotta say, it wasn't they weren't cheap, but they are definitely here in the United States in my possession now, and I couldn't be more excited about that. So thanks for that super chat. And uh we got some butterscotch pudding also in here. Oh, that stuff's awesome. Butterscotch pudding. <clears throat> now, isn't there a butterscotch pudding? Every often, but they had there's a butter butterscotch pudding in there that everybody loves. It's in a retort. This is dry. And you add, does it say four ounces of water mm-hmm. to that? And then you got yourself some butterscotch pudding. Man, thank all you guys for those super chats too. By the way, man, I really appreciate that. Here, I'm going to turn that one around so we see what we got going on there. What else we have here? This is the main. This is your raspberry blackberry muesli, and this is also in. Is is that a gusseted? It's a gusseted pouch. Yep. So this is vacuum. All really these are tough. gusseted. And if you don't know what these are all about, then uh, you don't know much about rations, but they're your typical MRE style crackers. We or also your have your no, I might need to that, that you're could good. be you too. Yeah, you're good. Okay. We have a cran apple ranger bar trans fat free, 180 calories in there. I don't know how many calories this meal is. How many calories is this meal? Any idea? About 1800. 1800 calories. And we have a sweetened condensed milk. And a strawberry jam to go along with your Taster's Choice coffee. There we go. Yeah, I love the Taster's This is the choice. house blend. This is definitely Dub C's choice. Hopefully that didn't come through on this. Uh, give me just one second to turn off notifications on here. Or it's going to be chiming in. It's going to take me but one second. Let's go over. Okay. All right. Notifications are turned off. Won't be getting those coming through no more. That is the entire meal except for. Yeah, we got the the compressed napkin. 
which Dub put in there because he likes the ones that are in the IMP so well, and they are pretty useful. You get your creamer for your coffee and a packet of we got the, sugar. Uh, purification tabs too. Water purification tabs, Sorry, just in case. I yep, missed those. They were under the bag there. You got your aqua tabs, so you can actually purify you some water if you happen to be out in the woods trying to have this meal or whatever, wherever you might be. Water purification tablets are invaluable, and obviously a spoon. <laughs> Almost missed that. So, you mentioned something earlier about his tip jar. Do you want to mention that yeah. or no? No, I just did. Yeah. It's still like, no, the other like thing. $10 if somebody leaves oh, a $10 yeah. tip. Yeah. And that was by Thanksgiving or something like yeah, that. Yeah, okay, guys. Hey, y'all know I like to give this black dog, Bob, by the way. Y'all know I like to give stuff away, right? So here's what we're going to do. I'm trying to help Dub C get his store going real well. Of course, y'all can tell by the packaging and everything. I'm, we're, we're much heavily involved in this. But here's what we're going to do to help the community out, to help Dub C store out, just, just to have a lot of fun. Any purchase made on Dub C store between now and, and midnight November 15th, now and midnight November 15th, for every $10 tip that you leave in the tip jar, you get one entry into a drawing on November 16th. We're going to give away Kronos Omega, guys. That's a $500 ration. You'll have a chance to win by leaving a $10 tip on uh, Dub C Store. So go check it out, www.dubcstore.com. Buy something, help support his channel, um, help support my wife's Amazon habits, <laughs> <laughs> right? And leave a $10 tip. The $10 tip will go to help out a community member. When you leave that $10 tip, you'll, the chance, you'll get entered into the drawing with one chance for every $10 you leave in the tip to win a Kronos Omega on November 16th. That's a pretty big giveaway, guys. I it's say five hundred dollar giveaway. Basically, more or less, like you're buying a raffle ticket. More or less, that's not exactly what it is, but it is what it is. Yeah. So ten buck, ten bucks, you get entered in every ten dollars. So if you left twenty, you'd get two entries. We are working on international shipping. Yeah, couple, couple. On, oh, no, we've got international shipping. We're shipping all over Europe, I did Canada, okay, uh, Australia, several places in South America. So. Yep. Feel free. Also on his website, you can get a first aid kit, a personal survival kit, water purification kit. These are in the in the aluminum tins, but then they're vacuum sealed in 5.4 mil uh, trilaminate <clears throat> mylar. So good to go. Salmon? So basically, uh, what if you buy oh, something yeah, like this? Yeah, see if we get a hiss. You're going to hope that you do not have to use this, yeah. but you're going to store this somewhere in your car or if you, have, if you might have a, a small plane that you own or a boat or something like that which God forbid anything ever happened. You were on a boat and it went down. This would float because it is sealed in this packaging the way it is. And this is also going to, whatever's in here, I don't really, I'm not going to tell you for sure. Oh, it'll last past the expiration date, but I'm going to tell you that this increases its chances of staying good for a, a long time. Being pa double, triple packaged. It's actually triple packaged like this because it's in its whatever, whatever's in here is in its packaging, and then it's in a metal tin, and then it's also sealed in this Mylar packaging and vacuum sealed at that. Let's see if we do get a hiss on this. Let's just find out. We're going to open up. What do we want yet? Uh, open up the water purification kit. Well, that, that or a survival kit. Yeah, okay, let's, let's, yeah, let's, let's do the personal kit. survival kit because uh, I think this, this will be fun for people to see what's inside. All right, here we go. Did you guys hear it? Because I heard it. A little it. bit of one, yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard it. Yeah. That's good. That's actually pretty good. All right, there it is. There is the personal survival. Wait, what? Okay, that yeah, must have been a reflection or something. Yeah. Personal survival kit with Dub C on it. Everybody's saying nice is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You've got. Magnifying yep. glass up top. Fresno ones. So you can start a fire with that, maybe. <laughs> no, you can. You can do a signal too, right? Yep. And there's your compass. Button compass. You got some water purification tablets here. Looks like a dozen of them, maybe. Ten. Ten of them. Yep. Ten water purification tablets. Basically the same thing that they put in the uh, the UK rations. You're going to have a chicken bouillon cube. Another is this beef or chicken? Beef. So you got beef and chicken, if you're picky. 
you're going to at least have one in there that you'll like, I would think. You got a sugar cube. Nice quick in energy. Here. You can just eat that on its own or add it to a drink mix in here if you need uh, to spice it up a little bit. You got your nice little razor knife in here. I love these little IFAC knives. They these were, things, yeah. they are amazing. And you can change the blades. I don't, I don't know where to buy the blades, but you can change them out. I know that. That's 24 inches of duct tape. So you can use duct tape for a lot of things. And that's, yeah, I'd split that into three, even if I had to do something. Yeah, you could seal depending. stuff up, <clears throat> and wounds. I mean, there's all kinds of uses. Yeah. Wounds, uh, fix your tarp, fix yeah. your tent. Duct tape. What, can, yeah. what can't you do? There's your ferro rod. Give me a tube of caulk and a roll of duct tape, man. I can fix a house. Yeah. That's that's a good size ferro rod, too. That's yeah, that good is for about 30,000 strikes. Yeah. You ain't going to use 30,000 strikes out there. If nope. you do, uh, yeah. let, I want to see your ferro rod when you're done. Right. And then we have a, this is kosher, by the way. Yep. This is grape. Vitamin It's one of the clear drinks. Another grape. So uh, this is trucker, trucker approved. Yep. Clear drink. 100% <laughs> of your vitamin C contained in there as well. I don't know how they do that in that little teeny tiny tiny pack. You got a thing of deep rich coffee and a tiny, I don't think this is the last thing it may be. Yeah, I think that's doing a balancing act here. Help it, dude. Well, the anyway, if that's the last thing in well, there. Well, no, that's that's pretty cool though. Because these, these sell on Amazon. Yeah, the tiny survival guide on Amazon by there itself is like $10. It's, it's waterproof, tearproof. It's literally hundreds of different survival tips. Covers everything. How to use the guide, danger zone, survival, rescue, first aid, shelter, Just fire, tons of, tons water. I mean, it, you know, different plants you can eat, self-defense, navigation, fishing, trapping, foraging. I mean, this thing's huge. Tons of information contained on a <clears> little <throat> teeny tiny packet. So Waterproof, tearproof paper. And if you're in a situation where you're in a survival situation anyways, you're going to probably have some downtime where you're you're bored. You can educate yourself on <clears> different <throat> types of things. Uh, Super chat. Bob, can I order all grape items to send a Canadian trucker? Well, I'll tell you what you can do. You can. Thank you for that Super Chat, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if you, you must have saw that sitting on the table, but Canadian this is a trucker sauce kit. Bob can tell you exactly what's in the, the Canadian trucker sauce kit. You get a package of crackers, two grape jelly, two grape drink, and two grape candies. Grape and a grape, grape Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> so made for our good that. friend, Canadian trucker. <laughs> we can uh we can pretty much all assume if you're in the MRG community and you make videos on YouTube, do not tell people what you hate. Because then you're gonna end up <laughs> You're going to end up with your own personal hate kit at Minotaur. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What was that with Jack and Trades? I'm going to have to make a, a kit for Jack and Trades. It's got pumpkin spice shakes and cilantro because he hates pumpkin spice and cilantro. Yeah. Every time, every this time of year, I, I know it's a big thing. A lot of women do get into the pumpkin spice stuff. Oh, I stuff, hear you. And I... I, I don't personally get into it, but I love a good pumpkin roll. Like, I love a good pumpkin Jack roll. Treats this. One, no. <laughs> one, one day they're wearing shorts and T-shirts, and the next day they're wearing ugly sweatshirts. got the hair and ponytail, drinking a Starbucks yep. pumpkin spice latte. <clears throat> All right. Let's get into Okay. Now, real quick, because we're not going to do much with this over here. We may end up uh, eating that right there as well. Since Bob said we could, I don't know if we'll do this menu or menus over there that we can get into. But anyway, just going to open this and shoot my on the wrong side. This is the right side, right? Okay. All right. I'm not going to pull anything out of it yet, but there is the inside. These things are actually a lot heavier than I thought they were. And you're calling this a single meal. Um, that's how many calories? Twenty. That's that one. I think is like twenty eight hundred and some calories. What's that's menu three? Yeah, it's like twenty eight hundred and so kind of thirty something like that. Almost twenty eight hundred cal twenty seven twenty eight hundred calories in a single meal. That's ridiculous. Really, it is. Now we're gonna look inside this Chronos here. We could do that right now, I guess, before we uh, open this case over here. Dude, that Chronos is gonna take a few minutes. That what? Chronos takes a few minutes. Oh, well, we're not. We're yeah, just going to kind of take a look inside and uh, uh, just don't knock over the root beer. That's that's like a. I'm not. I'm, I'm like not even going to move it anymore. Uh, 
Well, let me slide it out just a little bit more. Where I can grab that. Yep. You good? Dun da 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 da. I will point out this box is there. We go. Twice as big and twice as heavy as the British box that holds eight days worth of food. I'm just saying. I'm adding a ton more food. Adam W says hello to all. Keep up the great work. Well, thanks, Adam W, for the uh, super chat, man. Come in with the nine ninety nine super chat right there. I super duper appreciate that. And Ryan Outdoors just came in as well. Just placed my second order and left just the tip. Hope to win. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for that, Ryan, man. That's awesome, man. Just the tip. Uh, uh, that could be taken the wrong way, I guess. It, uh, it can that's what be. she said, right? Yep. Uh, Steve Carell. I never have gotten over to the Steve Carell on the on the office because that was his thing. Was to that was his right. joke that he said all the time. Oh, you want to see something cool? Smell this. Wait, do you like spicy stuff? Yeah. It smells really good. Yeah. That's see, my nose spice. has been messed up ever since I had the. Uh, the the C and, word and don't worry guys it's okay if he stuck his nose in that because this is the first one this is number one of fifty and this isn't getting shipped to anybody this is going to my own personal collection it. I'm just saying <laughs> I'm just saying too I'm just I don't want people thinking yeah. I'm sending them so nobody's up nobody's getting spice. This, one. this one's going yeah this is going to my own personal collection it's going in our future museum okay and you get this is like a table placemat <laughs> yeah that comes in it super chat. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, another super chat says, Oh, history, save your hay smoke. Missed you guys. I've been kind of MIA over the past month working on some new things. Hope all is well and much love. Well, thanks, history, save you for that. Need and you know, I've talked to you on the phone, so I know what you got going on and uh, super duper appreciate the super duper chat. Uh, come in with the 999 there. You need to check out some of his um, little short films he's doing. Yeah. Really good. Pretty good. Really good history one. I think history just, saver. He, he did, just did he one did the uh, patrol on his channel. It's uh, called Patrol. Yeah, it's really good. really good. Well, you guys go over there and check out History Savior's videos right now. He's pumping out some some nice short films over there. It sounds like definitely worth checking oh, out. Oh, this is the menu, huh? Yeah, it has look all at the, that. All the ingredients. So we don't have to open anything. We can just show you this and that right there's everything that's in it. Okay, this is there's different modules in here. Looks like there's module one. It's going to have chocolate peanut spread times two, dark chocolate crunch cereal, triple berry crunch cereal, berries and cream oatmeal, strawberries and cream oatmeal, chocolate cinnamon swirl oatmeal. I've never heard of that one before. So this is going to be breakfast entrees in your module one. Module two is going to be uh, for your lunch and dinner, fiesta bowl. Never heard of that one either. Southwestern tortilla stew. Fireside chili with beef and beans. That sounds good. I haven't eaten anything at all today. I, I do this to prepare for these live streams. I don't eat. Last thing I ate was uh, I had one chicken strip last night and like four bites of mashed potatoes. Mm. That's all I had yesterday. So I, I'm pretty I'm pretty hungry. Uh, anyway, we were at beef stew here, and there's your calorie count. I don't know what the extended is for. What's the extended for? I don't get huh? it calories oh, and it says extended. some some stuff's doubled right so oh, like, okay um, okay where's something that's over Where here right you get four corn nuts it's 320 calories each but got you got 1280 calories okay so that's a total Forty thousand five hundred eleven calories in this thing yeah there's your that's total three calorie and a half count. cases of military mres worth of calories yeah yeah four thousand five eleven can i pause real quick one sure. second what's up hey history saver something i want to tell you about since you're watching i picked it up for you check that out eight and ten from World War One, brother. Oh, that gum! Now I can't get it open. I had it open. There we go. Oh, that's nice inside. That's not bad. It's uh, it's coming your way, brother. In that box I got for you with the Russian mine and the um, other stuff I picked. The World War One gas mask. It's got blood in the eye socket with the hole in the eye. Socket. Oh my gosh! What? Yeah, World War I got it. You mask. got that here? <clears throat> yeah, I should like to see that. Um. Anyway. Where were we at? We were up here somewhere. Beef stew. And then we were at beef taco. Module three is your lunch, dinner, entrees as well. You got sirloin steak with rice and vegetables. Now, I should mention that all this is freeze-dried, by the way. You got chicken fajita, steak fajita, chicken and rice, chicken and pasta. Module four, you got your water. Oh, 12 God. ounces of canned emergency water. Holy cow, that's amazing. Yeah. Wow. 
Is that a? Yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's blood. That's crazy, dude. That's a World War One gas mess. I picked that up for history, Savior. Huh. Yeah. Man, it'd be cool to hear the... I don't know if I want to hear the story behind yeah. that, actually. No, no, no. So 12 ounces of canned emergency water. Oh, no, wait. Three of those. Three cans of emergency water. Oh, yeah, cool. Right here is your can. One can. Good for 50 years. Of emergency <clears throat> drinking water. And I'm going to bet that these are probably fairly... They just started doing this again. Uh, because of the whole virus thing. Yeah, those were those were canned. Um, oh wow! July, I think it was right. No, yeah. best used by October twenty seventy three. Huh. Oh, so it's fifty three years from this month. Yeah. Holy cow! Yeah, that's a lot. Let's see here. You got three cans of the water. Nope, you got more water here. Six cans of water, right? Module four is water. Mar mo uh, module five is also water. water. Yep. And module six is shelter. You got a six by eight tarp tent. You got four tent pegs. With you got Minotaur some cordage. Trading Company logo on it. With a Minotaur logo on it. Um, and a stuff sack, which I think I saw that in there. It's like a waterproof little Trans stuff no, bag. That's, no, no, oh, that's a sack. canvas bag. Okay. Additional freeze-dried items. You have freeze-dried blueberries, freeze-dried ground beef. Wow. Okay. Freeze-dried sirloin cubes, freeze-dried chicken breast. So you can add, like, a protein to something up here. If there's, some of your sides. Yeah, yeah, if there's not, or some of your sides even. If there's, you want to change it up or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, you got trauma and first aid in Module 7. We did cover Module 6, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, we did. Module 6 is your first aid and hygiene so i'm going to not read all that off and just kind of it's awesome give you chest a seals, couple minutes chest seals cat, cat tourniquet self-adhesive yep. wrap comprehensive or comp compressed it. gauze non-latex uh z gloves steri strips uh ster steri stera strips stera strips z gloves z's a typo oh z okay or for zombie, whichever. Zombie you know. gloves. So I guess I like the Z gloves. is a typo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we're at Dermabond Skin Adhesive. We got some ammonia inhalants times two. Some chest seal, some toothpaste, some uh, toothbrush, one toothbrush, deodorant, a comb, burn cream, aspirin. You got cold relief. We got antacids. That's good. Anti-diarrhea tablets, triple antibiotic cream, and band-aids times two. Then we're going to have some snacks in here, some uh, chocolate-covered sunflower seeds times two. There's where those other numbers come into play. Some smoothie snack blend times three. Which Again, awesome. the other number. Minotaur high-energy trail mix times four. Some corn nuts times four. Peanuts dry roasted. Oh, nice to see a ration with some med supplies. You'll want them when you need them, no sure. doubt. Yeah, the quantum true. potato, they People don't think about this stuff a lot, man. Old Smokey, when are you going to make your own rations? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I've thought about it for a long time. In the just... next month. <laughs> Bob thinks. <laughs> maybe, may, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm Black Dog Bob. I can do anything. The impossible takes an extra 35 minutes. I might end up coming up with something for around, you know, the, the holiday season. I might do something like that. So, uh, da, 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 we were on, uh, to, oh, okay. Side so items. Side items. We got Arizona chili and beans, French onion soup, mashed potatoes times five. We got white rice. We got coffee, cream, sugar, salt. This is your accessories. Five accessory kits. There's five of those, by the way, which add up to 375 calories. Additional desserts. You got two chocolate mousses. You got two chocolate chip mousses. Uh, and two cookies and cream mousses. I have is that cookies and cream chocolate mousse. Two cookies and cream chocolate mousse. Now, no, you haven't had the mousse yet. You'll what was that? I tried. That was the shake. The no, the, the the other thing. The whip topping. Whip topping. Oh, okay, whip now, I topping. do like the whip topping. That's really good. Dude, why do you think my belly's so big lately? <laughs> I, I eat like three or four of those a day. I couldn't handle that. So uh, desserts, man. This is this is where it's at right here. So we got. Uh, pumpkin spice shake times two, cookies and cream shake times two, vanilla pudding times two, vanilla shake times three, candy coated mint chocolates times three, peanut butter chocolate delight times three, some s'mores delight times two. I don't know what Ooh, half of this stuff listen, is, to be honest. You drop that s'mores delight down in your FRH when heating up your meal. Yep. When you're ready for your dessert, you rip the top open and eat it. Dude, I'm telling you, it's like you're sitting in front of a campfire. So, what with, is it? So, it's marshmallows, uh, 
uh, Hershey's chocolate and graham cracker crumbs. So, you know, s'mores is graham crackers, right. roasted yeah. marshmallows, right? So you right. heat it up, it all melts together. Oh, God, it's so decadent. I think they're doing something like that at Dairy Queen oh, right now, aren't they? So, not as good as I did. I mean, but aren't they doing something like a <laughs> s'mores know. or something? I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I've been seeing commercials for something s'mores lately. So the chocolate peanut butter delight is peanuts, chocolate chips, and uh, peanut butter chips. Start eating something. All right. Let me show the rest of the menu really quick. I'm just going to go through it. We are on. Yeah, a screenshot of it's on the website. Let's eat. Yeah, let's eat something. What do you guys want to bust open? An Arctic field ration from Great Britain? Yep. I still got one of their I'll, I'll take that. care of all this. Oh, oh. There we go. All right. Set that case. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. Ah, uh, there we go. This is what we want to watch my root beer. This is what we want to open. All right. Now, this. This has been years in the making for me. Uh, look over a little bit of the information on the outside really quick here because uh, I think that this is pretty important. Only eight menus in this case. Now, this case does weigh 30-some pounds. Right around like 31 pounds, 30, 31 pounds, something like that. 13.69 kilograms. And then right there it says quantity eight. Hopefully... Hopefully you guys can see that. I think I can zoom in just a little bit right here. There we go. All right. So as you can see right there, it says 24-hour cold climate ration. And uh, it's got a scan bar on it. But right there, PD means production date. These were produced only 10 months ago in December of 2019. That is an amazingly fresh ration. Um. This is uh, your different defense fulfillment center. Uh, I don't know yeah, how to pronounce chat. that. Oh, two, super chat. Two, two super chats. Hang on just one second. I'll go back to those super chats. 2719. I don't know what that number's for. Um, I, I'm, working on, I'm working on a banana split. So right here we have a printing on the side that says 24-hour cold climate ration. MOD authorized use only. You always want to see that on your cases. Love this case. Same thing on the other end here. Um, when these are stacked, they're stacked with the end showing so that you can, uh, so that they can get that information, scan them in. And on this side, same as the other side. Now, let me check the super chats here really quick. And thank you guys. I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys to the guys that send in super chats. MRE Kid says, I have a challenge for everyone there. Uh, I want a banana split. Banana split. Tell him challenge accepted. Yeah. Bob says he accepts that's, the challenge. That's easy. Thank you for the super chat, uh, MRE Kid. Well, I'm going to make Bob come up with a uh, banana split. And challenge let's eat and share our love of the food and rations. Miss uh, Sunshine, side of life 77. Miss Sunshine, I hope you're feeling better. Um. I'm just glad to see you still in the chat because <laughs> uh, yeah, I know a, that stuff's tough on you. She did a live stream the other day. She's doing pretty good. She did a CRM1. CR1M? CR1M, yep. I logged into her live stream. Yeah. I was traveling, logged into her live stream, and literally not three minutes into it, man, I lost all self for oh, like yeah. a half hour. There we go. Ooh, Here we go. Daddy likes. Real quick, I'm going to pull this out, and uh, I'll just stick it up on the screen. And you guys can pause. You can actually pause this and read this. This is going to tell you every single thing that's in here. Now, I want a huge thanks to Jim because without Jim and his help, I couldn't have gotten these over here. So I actually ordered these from somebody, had them sent. Yeah, go ahead. And had these sent to Jim. And uh, Jim forwarded them to me. So let's see what we got here. There's menu number eight right there. 12 of 2019. Man, oh man, that's so cool to see. And everything Dude, in here is freeze dried. That's actually really lightweight. I think we're going to want menu number two. Uh, everybody's going to have to vote. Menu number vote. seven. They're yeah. not eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Dark chocolate. Oh, it has the beef, contents on it. Goulash and rice. Yeah, fruit muesli. It's right on, right on there. And they say 24 hour cold climate. Ration. That's only got two mains in it. Right on it. Uh, no, you got a breakfast. No, that's what I'm saying. You only get two mains. Two mains and a breakfast. Your breakfast no, is, you yeah. Get, you get one main and no, one breakfast no, 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 no. main. I'm, right dude, here. I'm looking at it. No, 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 no. Where's the list on this one? This one is not a list. What menu number is it? Six. 
Menu six is porridge with strawberry, potato puree with chicken, and then for dessert you got custard with apple crunch. That doesn't Fortified sound apple drink, chocolate cola that's flavor it? drink. Yeah, there's there's you got your main and your breakfast. That's it. Unless they're consent yeah, chicken there's... fried rice. Okay, we got dark Ooh, chicken fried rice. Okay, eight, dark five. chocolate. Let me get chicken fried rice and oatmeal. Oatmeal, custard with apple. Vanilla flavored cake, fortified energy drink. What? Oh, that's got that raspberry drink mix in it. That's gonna huh. be good. Well, I thought there was two. I'm almost positive there's two mains in there. Mm -hmm. From what I've seen. Uh, menu four, we got chicken fajita with rice, muesli Oof. with milk and raisins. Hmm. I got the water warming up. Interesting. That one feels the heaviest so yeah, far. Yeah, that one's good size. Um, we got menu three here. I'll just hold her one up there. Chocolate. Is it dark chocolate? I don't know why it keeps saying dark chocolate at the beginning either. These are pretty light. Yep. I think. That's oh, the it's point. oh no. These have those new dark chocolate bars, bars. you can only get in these. Yep. Oh man. Have you had one of those? Nope. Dude, they're awesome. How could I have? <laughs> I've never had uh, one of these. No, oh, somebody before. sent me like six of them, and I and I literally go. ate them in two days. Chicken tikka with rice. And this is going to be menu number one. This one's pretty heavy, too. Oh, focus. There we go. There's, you can see the menu. Chicken and black bean sauce. And a muesli with milk and, what's that say, and raisins. All right, I'm going to let them look at the menu real quick. Heavy. I've got to take a one second, two second. Uh, well, are we letting people vote or are we just going to rip one open? What do you guys think we should eat? I'm saying number four. I'm just saying. Number four would be a good one. Number two would be a really good one. Number four is muesli with Chicken milk and Chicken fajita rice. with rice, though. Man, but it's muesli with raisins. Chocolate flavored cream. Chicken tikka with rice and porridge with strawberry. That's a good one. I think that's... And it's got that tropical fruit and nut bar. Oh, wait. This has got a pork and beef patty. Okay. What cookies and cream flavor bar? Uh oh, no, that's that. That. Oh, um, that's that. Yeah. yeah. What's everybody saying? Chicken Drink some pita? water before sleep. What? Yeah, cheat weekend CT for sure. Oh, CT man, you can't come here and be on a diet, brother. He's been here since yesterday. I've been putting so so much food in front of him <laughs> that's not keto friendly. Which one do you want? Okay, to so what do we got here? We got chicken and rice number five, but it's oatmeal. But over here, you got chicken tikka with rice. I think porridge two. with strawberry. That Menu number two looks good. really good. Chicken and black beans in black bean sauce. These sound weird, like they don't have them wrote out right or something. Oh, so, they got a cottage pie over here though with fruitful muesli and milk. Cottage pie. Oh, number eight looks with good. beef. Number eight looks real good. Rice pudding with strawberries is the dessert there. Oh, we got chicken fajita. Don't you have a chicken fajita, main? Yeah, I've got a chicken fajita. It's menu like 13. Here, I'll well. let you guys look with me. Um, oh, we, chicken korma like with rice. Super chat. Oh, did I, I miss it. a super chat? I got it. Here, I can go right here like this. Boom. Uh, the quantum potato says they taste better when you eat them yep. in the snow. Really? Okay. Everything tastes better when you're outdoors. Yeah, when snow. you're when yeah. you're super cold. Okay, back to live chat. Um, potato puree with chicken. See, now that's like the type of menu I would typically like to eat. It does sound good. Custard with apple crunch is the dessert in that one. That coffee oaty dessert also sounds good in the menu number two right there. Let's see. That's the chicken tikka masala. Chicken and fried rice with the custard with apple. Chicken, black beans. Let's go with uh, mm, porridge with strawberries. Oh man, the potato puree. Go with number eight. Oh, chicken sounds in, good. In number eight, the one you wanted. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. That's not. It's not speaking to me. My mouth is actually watering right now reading these though, because yeah. I'm so hungry. Um, menu number six is sounding really good to me. That's one that sounds good. And then also the, uh, see, I don't know, the chicken fajita sounds good, too. Yeah, number eight, chicken fajita. Uh, that's num menu number four. Or menu number four, I mean. Yep, that's got the muesli with milk and raisins, the chicken fajita with rice, and the chocolate flavor cream. Raisins with the devil. Um, <laughs> okay. Wait. Okay, that's the four? muesli. 
Uh, it's either four or two, I'd say. Let's do four. That's someone you said you liked, right? Chicken tikka with rice. Mini number two is chicken tikka with rice. What? But it's got that porridge with strawberry. Porridge with strawberry, yeah. You want to do that one? It's up to you. Do your rice. Yeah, let's do it. Menu two? Yep, menu two sounds good. I'm a strawberry. I like the strawberry stuff. Strawberries is one of my favorites. Uh, and then that also has the coffee Odie dessert. Is that in any of the other ones? It's I haven't not. heard of that. I'd like to try that. I know, and it's not in any of the other ones either. You got chocolate Odie dessert. Chocolate mousse with cherry and granola. Water. Custard with apple. Ready. Should nice we be burning that inside? Yeah, why not? If you get tired, let me because know. Because it's pro <laughs> We're burning propane. Let's, if you get uh, tired, let me know. Let's do the one Bob wanted to do. Let's do eight. Let's no, do eight. no, I, I don't care which one we do. I, I'm good with eight. Let's do eight. We're gonna do menu I number you eight. And number two. I actually I it, they're all good, man. Okay. Seriously. Eight up. Eight it is. Uh, I'm we got fruitful muesli with milk. We got cottage pie beef. I don't know what that's gonna be. And then we have rice pudding with strawberries, and then it also has the other side items that are in there. Let's just go ahead and cut it open and we'll find out exactly what we've got going on here. And I am going to, uh, can, can we take yep. this down some and bring it closer to the table? Yep. We can do whatever you want. Yep. There we go. I'm trying to really get it in there. Get on that phenomenal minotaur tray. Will this go down any further? Uh, well, you got to break down the legs a little yep, bit. I can. Let's do this, the short legs at the bottom. I get you want all the way down? Yeah, let's just go with all the way down. Okay. Because we can raise the, the short, yep, yep, the, yep. the piece up here. Here we go. Since we got a propane burner going inside, we open the door. Yep, I can smell it. I think this is probably going to be good anyway. Uh, come back down a little bit. Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. That'll work right there. Okay. All right. Let's get this bad boy cut open. All right. I'm going to go outside and have a cigarette. We have. I just can't get over that the date that these things were packed. With super fresh. Uh, this is menu number eight. This is the one you uh, had picked out from the very beginning. It's good, the one that's got the beef. Uh... Oh, it's got that orange cake, too. Dude, wait until you try. I've this has the, the orange cake in it? <clears throat> yeah, I've never had wait the until you cake. try that dark chocolate. Bar though, man, I'm telling you, it's the best chocolate in any military ration in the entire world. Oh, I'm so excited. And I've eaten them. I've eaten them all. There's a... Okay, so there is our brew kit. Check that out here in a second. Nice. We have our oatmeal block. Grams. This is going to be the freshest British food I've, I've eaten in a long time. I bought some cakes back in 2016. They were 2016 cases I got oh, in 2016. You got grapefruit flavored drink powder. They're all good. <laughs> yeah. We got the orange flavored cake. I think I've seen somebody just eat Oh, it looks like one of those UN cakes. So some of these come with um, with tuna. This one comes with a beef burger. Yeah. It's like a lunch. pork and beef. Ah. I see. So there is three mains. Yeah, there is there's three mains. So we got here's our muesli with milk. Oh, I just oh. dropped some. I got it. I got it. Probably some, yeah, it's a little mint. Small, yeah, gum. Okay, well, here we got a main. In, uh, that's a. There's the freeze dried rice pudding with strawberries, made oh. by Summit to eat. Yeah, something's wrong here. What number is that? It's good. Everything's good. Oh okay. yeah, I'm sorry. Menu number eight. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we have. Uh oh. What's going on? Let's stick to the label. Yeah, there's a label. Yep. Oh. We got a tropical fruit and nut mix. It looks like they recycled a bag or something. Or misprinted a bag or yeah. something there. Okay. Let's actually get the brew kit out of the way. I want to do it like this. And we have an energy drink powder. Is that the apple one? Refreshing strawberry. Oh, wow. I've never seen that oh, one before. Oh, that's going to be good. Either. Super chat. So that sounds good. Uh, the quantum potatoes, if you guys... Want entrees from the British rations for cheaper. They're made by a company called Wayfarer. Uh, you can get them the same menus. You can get the same menu items, but way cheaper. Wow. Really? Well, uh, definitely uh, contact me in my email, which is, uh, it's, it's it should be in this description, um, but it's, well, yeah, hopefully it's in the description. I don't want to just say it out loud. Two grapefruit <laughs> drink powder. So that's oh, kind of. Wow. 
kind of weird, but I'm a big grapefruit guy. And uh, some of my favorite crackers slash biscuits, got the biscuits brown. 84 grams of them right there. They're a little bit busted up, I ain't gonna lie. Typically, the packaging on these is not so large. Yeah, it's insane. It looks like, a little bit bigger than it these. It looks like they kind of cut that packaging accidentally too large. <laughs> so. That happens gum. sometimes. That definitely happened on that one. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, right there. Whoa. There is that plain oh, chocolate. This is made by Britannia Supreme. Or, nope, Superfine. Sorry. Dude, Britannia so Superfine. It's... And I guess, from what Bob was saying, the only way you can get these is through the rations. Now, someone over there in the well, U.K. No, might can, be able to... You can buy those in the U.K., but as far as military rations, it's the only... That's, this is the that's only it. ration they're yeah. in is the cold weathers. Got it. Okay. So this is batch. It's got the batch number, 9330. Yeah. Best before is November of 2022. Mm -hmm. We all know that that lasts. Way, way longer. Dude, I, Here we I go. Six of these in less than twenty-four or less than forty-eight hours. This is our cottage pie. I've seen made that by before. I've seen that brand before. MX3 Adventure. I need to see that too. You got your French on that side. Cottage pie, dehydrated meal to be reconstituted in water ingredients. Potato flakes, sixty-two percent. Pretty sure it's made in the UK. Um, Isn't that mean in right the there. Uh, French packaged? RILs? In a protective atmosphere, nitrogen produced in France. Yeah. Nope. No, France. For Vesti Foods Limited. For 5, 24 so hour UK. In France for Vesti in the UK. Got it. Yep. Um, yeah, I think I've seen those in the French area. Also. How much meat's in here is what I was wanting to see. Because they put a 62% on the potato flakes. Oh, there we go. 18% on the beef. Hmm. That's, that's going to be a heavy main right there. Where's the beef? There's going to be a lot of food in that. Dude, so that's, that's seriously an 80s reference. Oh, what is this? Beef burger? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. It's, what? Some of them contain tuna, and then you got that one. I'm interested Is this the only that. beef burger in all eight no, menus? No, there's one on the one. At the, okay, because oh, oh, I'm going to have to do it with you of that. There's the beef burger, okay. and you've got a beef and, and pork There's a patty. Yeah, pork and beef patty. In menu seven... All right, we got to take a better look at this. This is all definitely uh, interesting. Ingredients are beef, 66%, 66%, and then you got breadcrumbs, uh, which is beef burger in two, and a beef burger. Wheat flour, and... yeast, table salt, whole egg, onion, garlic extract, uh, iodized table salt, table salt, potassium, blah, 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 paprika, jalapeno spices. Herbs, seasoning, spice extract. It feels like a meat block, man. That's like, yeah. look you at that. You get that in menu five and menu two. Wow. You want me to start warming that Same up? Same exact one. Uh, beef burger yeah. is in menu, I want menu two five as well. And menu seven. That's what I want. Oh my gosh. He's not going to have the seven. That's the beef goulash. Is it? Uh, oh, okay. Beef burgers in menu two, too. Yeah. This has got to get a proper review with them. With a freaking meat patty in a package like that. That's so. I wonder how it compares. So to weird. Compared yeah. to like, uh, like the sausage patty, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's there's beef patties. Ah, Mr. Filbert's <laughs> dry roasted peanuts. Wow, that's a uh, definitely some commercial packaging right there, made to hang on the shelf, obviously. Mm -hmm. A little hole. Oh, dude, this is made in Germany. Free from dairy, gluten. So the beef patties made in Germany. Yep. Meat block. Okay, what else we got in here? We got. There's your water purification tablets by Oasis. So I can take a screenshot of this later. Oh, I'm going to eat the hell Cheddar out cheese flavored spread. Is that made here? That's probably made yeah, here. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. 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 Usually. Yep. yep. Produced in the USA for Vesti yep. Foods, UK yep. Limited. Yeah. So that's going to be this pretty I much. I that says CR5 two hour UK. No, it's the zip code in the UK. Huh. That's your zip code. Okay. Our license plate numbers are like their zip codes. Okay, last two things in here, which go along with this. We got three packages of this strong mint gum. I don't know what brand it is. I mean, that's just all it says is strong mint. Sugar free gum. Got three packs of that. And one other thing in here is ah, the fruit flapjack. What? Oh, those are good. Those are so good. They didn't used to be like this. Those they used so to be good. like um, a lot thinner, probably half the thickness of this. 
and about I don't know about that long. They they didn't used to like I said they didn't used to be like this. And they used to be pretty moist. This feels pretty dry. So first ingredient is oats and then margarine. That's the second ingredient is margarine. That's awesome. That's me. It's probably going to taste really good. Have you ever had one of those? Mm, I've had the old kind of oh, fruit flap tacks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, do you want to get pretty good. Up no. Probably. Yeah, I have a way to do it. I'll, I, was, I got I a Dutch. I have about 12,000 FRH. Oh, yeah, I got uh, the Dutch Mets kit. All right, Please. so the brew kit, you get a baggie. Obviously, nice heavy duty bag. Not You ain't got enough room in there to throw your trash away, but we get a three in one tea. That's amazing. So that's going to have cream and sugar in it. Never seen a three in one tea. Yeah, the. Uh, Let's see the old ones. There was three in one teas. Who's that? Not sure. They come in here. Okay, we have actually wow. We have three of the three in one teas. That's awesome. Oh, Look at that. So three three in one tea. We have a hot chocolate flavored drink powder. This is not flavored by anything. No orange, no nothing like that. We have a, I've never seen this brand before either. This is a Brista Selection Roasted Coffee. And that's a new one. Uh, some of the best coffee in a ration period, in my opinion, was in the 2016 uh, 24-hour UK rations. 100% soluble coffee. Let's see what else we have in here. We have one, two, real quick, one inch, three, Four, five. So What's up, man? He's done by on his way home. He's taking over our operations here for me. So oh, okay. My time in the last. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, shake. Yeah. Good. Good, yeah. good to meet you, man. Say hi Zach. To Marie, yep. All right, man. Go say hi to White Marie. sugar. Oh, on a live stream, yeah. I, I'll turn the camera around here in just a second. I'm, as soon as I get through this, I'll turn the camera around. We got uh, we got six of the creamers. Wow, six. Six sugar, six creamers. We got two. Oh, here, let me check. Oh, there's the other creamer. Actually, we got seven. Seven sugars. Seven sugars and seven creamers. And we have three of the coffees. Yeah, seven. Wow. Yeah, I think the calorie count on this is probably going to be pretty high. They probably give you two for each coffee and then one for oh, the. There's another sugar. <clears throat> How many? Hang on a second. One, it's, two, uh, three, calories. four, five, six, seven. We got eight sugars. So there's eight packs of sugar. And there's one, two, three, four, five. There's six of the creamers. We've got two of the alcohol-free, awesome antibacterial wipes. These things are legit awesome. You got your windproof, waterproof matches that come in there, which these things are okay. They're not bad. They're I, Honestly, they're a little bit better than the Australian ones. Here is your Mega Spork, which I am not a fan of. This thing always cuts the corners of my mouth. If this thing was just a little bit smaller, you know, like make it about the same size as what the, the Spork uh, notches on top are, would be a lot better. And then we have our Paloma Classic Super Soft Butt Ration that they give you which is a really nice to have i think they do it right in my opinion it is uh, 500 calories. awesome so check this out this ration is 5500 calories i had no idea this thing was going to be so many calories but as you guys know if i would open up something like this on a live stream typically like i can't get through all this and most people don't want to see a ration opened up on a live stream and see like the second half of the ration. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna say that that's that I I've done that, or I'll do a leftovers night and do like three parts of leftovers of 24 hour rations. But tonight, like we can go through this whole ration. There's three of us. We can all sit down and eat this right now. So let's go ahead and just start digging into it. Um, gonna spread it out a little bit. Let's say I've had enough water to do all the mains if you want. Let me see if I can just. Gonna do a, uh, I'm going to move this stuff over here. I, I, I'm going to get a screenshot of this. You want another tray? Do two trays? I'm probably going to need it. Yeah, I mean, we're going to cook this whole thing up, so. 
unless there's something that we end up not wanting right now. I'll eat it later. That's fine. It doesn't matter. But yeah, I just wanted to, yeah, pick, yeah, let's see. Put that right there. I think you can get it all right. Yep. Really nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's pretty much everything right there. Gives it a good look on it. All right. Sorry, guys. I'll get the camera line back up there. Now, I'm going to just take my arm and brush everything down here out of the way. Do you want the fruit muesli cold or hot? Oh, what kind is it? Uh, Fruitful. Personally, I think this is better warm. Yep. So, I would say warm on that. Yep. Uh, we'll probably end up adding most of that to the muesli. Uh, we got to try out the strawberry drink. We'll make up a grapefruit one. We'll make up a couple of these teas, probably. Get the fruit flapjack going. Beef burger. We got these mains. So, like, there's like four mains in this with that beef burger, and then you get the freeze dried rice pudding with strawberries, which is a dessert. And then we have this huge main. This thing's 106 grams, this cottage pie. This is going to make a ton of food. I'm looking forward to the cottage pie. I'm not going to lie. What was the main ingredient in the cottage pie? Was it potato flakes, I think? Yep. Yeah, potato flakes. And then we had 16, no, 18% beef. So no more percentages on there. But that makes up, what, 80% of the meal. And then 20% is this other stuff. Spread out throughout there. Let's get us a tray over here. All right. I'll probably bring you guys down a little bit closer here in a minute. You want to see the music before I cook it? Uh, yeah, sure. Do we have a bowl for this? Yep. There what you go. It's a lot of freaking muesli, dude. You think we can eat all that? Yes. Have no fear. I'm hungry. I mean, that is a lot of muesli. Like, that would be an entire meal for me, for what? sure. Yeah. It's 150 grams of muesli. It takes 150 milliliters of water. It's described to not that much. Hey, you want to do a promo while we're doing this? Sure. Minotaur Trading Company, 20% off your entire order. Promo code is BOB20. So if you guys want to go to Minotaur right now and get 20% off of your entire order. Now, Every I'm thinking on the website, including Kronos, 20% off. This is going to be a limited time offer, I'm sure. This is going to end most likely when the live stream ends or exactly. like midnight or something like that tonight. No, when the live stream ends. So you got Bob 20. B-O-B-2-0 -O will get you 20% off of your entire order at Minotaur right now. <clears throat> Had no idea about that. He literally just came up with that as we're standing here doing this right now. So, next up, we got. Oh okay, man, we got to try to send some tea powder with sugar and white man. In one tea? Yeah, I got three of them. That looks There's good. There's three of them. Oh, yeah. Well, of course, it's later. British. Three of them all together. You want me to make up the freeze dried rice pudding hot? Uh, ooh. Ooh, let's do rice pudding cold. I do right? cold rice pudding, yeah. I do cold rice pudding, personally. Okay. So. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's cold or hot water underneath the water. I definitely do cold on the rice pudding. I I I like it out of the refrigerator. Like yeah. I've made it up before or got so it in cold, a retort. Cold, cold put water. It, yeah, cold water is good. Yes. Okay. We need cups for drinks. Now these cups. things make huge amounts. Five hundred, yeah. like five hundred solo cups here. Hey, I got water here. Five hundred milliliters. Uh, same with the hot chocolates, stuff like that. We got the dry roasted peanuts. We got the chocolate bar right so there. Good for your cold drinks. Cheddar cheese spread for the that. And your oatmeal block. Which that doesn't get cheese. But we'll set that up here. What else? Oh, we got to do the uh, strawberry, refreshing strawberry drink. Oh, yeah. Let's do that one first. Did we get any we get any jam or jelly or peanut butter or anything Just cheese. that oatmeal block? Just cheese. Just cheese. That's it. You know, to get on that oatmeal block. The whip topping? Whip topping. Probably. Energy drink. Let's see. How much water do I add to this thing? It doesn't say. It's probably going to be 500. Mm, I think this one's going to be different. This is the rice. You want to show the rice pudding? Oh, that's cool. I'll get the oxygen tail out. 
Oh yeah, that's looking really good. Holy cow, look at that. What is that? Oh man. Yeah. That's it's got, rice pudding. It's got freeze dried strawberries. Oh in my it. gosh. It smells look at good. Those chunks of strawberries. Dry. I could eat that dry. Oh yeah. Actually I want to try it a bit dry. <laughs> Usually try everything freeze dried dry. I can go without them usually dry, but I want to try that dry. Mm. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. It actually has the lines in it. It's cool. it smells great. Mm. Those wow. strawberries are really good too. I might nice to make that. Sweet. <laughs> this doesn't say how much water to use. What? Oh wait, here we go. Five hundred mils. Yep. This is uh, the strawberry drink mix. Wait, That's a whole bottle of water. Oh, wow. Yeah. Smell that. Oh, man. I love Ooh. strawberries. That strawberry? Yeah. Here, smell it. Hang on. Smell that. Dude, that's good. Wow. It smells like a... Is that I, like that old... It reminds me of gum? something. The yeah, square. bubble... Hubba Bubba. Hubba, strawberry Hubba Bubba. Bubblicious strawberry. Bubblicious. Hmm. That's that's not, that cup's similar. not going to hold it all. Close enough. Ah, that's close, yeah. yeah. A great. little bit less is good. Yeah. It would hold 500 milliliters in Brempool. All right, mm -hmm. so this is reconstituting. This is going to have to sit for a while. How many spoons do we have? There's a lot of natural sugar in that. Oh, Super Chat. Okay, thank you, Miss Marilyn. Super Chat. Uh, the Quantum Potato says, if you guys want to have the British Experience NATO tea is milk and two sugars. Milk and two sugars. Wow. Well, the teas came three and one already, but thank you for that super chat, by the way. So we already have the cream and sugar in here. So the milk's already in here and the sugar's in here. Let's take a look and see what we got going on here. Again, thank you guys for those super chats, man. I super appreciate that. Um, Ingredients. Oh, MRE Kid says, uh, thank you for the code. Uh, my dad's wallet is getting lighter as we speak. <laughs> so, yeah, you got to take advantage of a good 20% discount. That's $2 off of every 10 you spend. You can't beat that. Um, directions for use of the contents, blah, blah, blah. Ingredients. Sugar. It doesn't tell you really how much. Uh, tea extract is 5% of this entire volume, which is not very much. Huh. Piece of rice stuck in my teeth. Hmm. That strawberry's getting kind of like a foam is, on top. For us to try the, out these drinks, we're going to have to like split drinks up into cups. Oh, yes. I want to see this. This is the cottage pie. Look at the beef chunks in there. Yeah, I get a really good look at that. Oh, it smells, it smells bad. It sm I mean, it's not bad. It just smells bad. It smells weird. It smells like potato flakes and yeah. beef. <laughs> maybe a little bit of beef bouillon in there or something, maybe. I'm not really sure. It doesn't smell as good as the strawberries. <laughs> No, it doesn't smell as good as the sweet stuff. History Savior says, So glad to see a younger generation member like MRE Kid growing love and knowledge for rations and military history. Big shout out to that kid. Well, thank you, History Savior, for that. And yes, man, it is good to see kids getting into this. I've tried to get my kids into it. They could care less. Um, you would think with their dad doing a TV show about vintage food and stuff like that that they at least take a little bit of interest in it. But nope, they, they do not have... A, not even a little bit of interest in it so but thank you so much for that super chat man thank all you guys for the super chats and stuff um we're going to do this hot i think that would be the way to go with the uh three and one tea we could also do one cold let's do one cold as well okay that way why not we got a hot and a cold tea what's the directions uh da, 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 100 mil 180 milliliters of water oh okay it's got a nice brown color to it to, for only 5% tea extract, that's, there we go. Take a look at hey, it in a cup. This stuff to reconstitute, can we introduce? Yeah. Because he's got to get going. Yep, let's do that really quick. So Zach, you guys are going to know who's, who's going to be running stuff here at uh, Minotaur. Yeah, he's taking over operations for me so I can just stay in the lab and create stuff. Bob's Mad Lab, or his, uh, what's that called? <laughs> the... the Mad scientist laboratory. Yeah, the mat. Hey, how you doing? I'm Zach. You should lift your hat on. Me. Zach. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Better than at the ballgame, game, right? Yeah. Let's add anyway. So it's good to meet Zach. It's the first time I've ever met Zach. And although 
we're in the middle of a live stream. It's kind of hard to do the typical meet and greet type thing that you would do outside of a live stream. But yeah. veteran Army Ranger been blown up twice. Twice. Twice been blown up for our country. But check it out. We think alike. We have the same work ethic. The difference is his strong suits and my weaknesses and vice versa. So make a great pair. It's going to be good for Minotaur. Opposite track, right? Yeah, all right, man. Thanks, Zach. Well, thanks for your service, thanks, bub. Oh, no problem. Appreciate it. Been blown up twice. I ain't telling Bob. I ain't been blown nothing. up once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's looking good. All right. Uh, Holy cow. Hey, I can make this. What is it? What? That which cottage, one is it? Cottage the cottage pie? pie? Don't put too okay, much water in. so only 180 milliliters in this, so we're going to go less than half a bottle. We're making one cold. Just the tea? Yep, three and one tea. There's three of them, so I don't know that cold is really the route to go. It's looking like that's not a very good idea, but... Uh... <laughs> Alandal says, but he's not a jarhead. It's okay, he was a ranger. That's close enough. <laughs> Yep, cold is definitely not the way to go here. Wow. I got hot water ready, but that's yeah, cold's not the way. It's that cream doesn't really go well with cold. No, there's a lot of powder. Stuff. Yeah. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to work on this one with a spoon here. That's all right. We'll stir it up on the. Get me some tray. plastic spoons, Bob. You got it. I yeah. got it right here. I got them. Oh look, man. Deb's already got the plastic oh, spoons over there. But I'm gonna have to like literally crush every bit of this powder nice. with the spoon. Which sucks. That's gonna be nasty cold, bro. Nah, man. You don't like cold tea? No, I don't. Not when it's I don't got like cream or sugar in it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You never had the Japanese like the you Japanese put cream style. Cream and sugar and hot tea. You put nothing in cold tea. Yeah. I disagree. Yeah, a lot of people I like in this the South Japanese. Disagree with me. I like this Japanese. Uh, oh yeah. Tea, like the green teas green, and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Now I've not had those cold. Those are really good with cream and sugar in them. Both. I they're they really good. Be, yeah. yeah. Uh, Eric Surf Six got me started picking those things up at an Asian market that I go to in Columbus, Ohio. Sorry, guys, this is taking me a minute to get this Where'd one mixed up because it's. Uh... Usually, it's right here. It's ready. Oh, okay. Portion some out. No. I'm freaking starving. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, like, I'm ready it, to man. eat. That's ready. What's this? That's a serving spoon for that. Nobody's touched it. It's just been mixed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, bro, look at that. Yeah, that's looking really good. Oh, man. Oh, look. All right, I'm just going to leave that set there and reconstitute for a minute. And I'm going to, uh, I'm taking a bite of that muesli right now. Go for it. Yep. Because <clears throat> I, I got you another tray. You want some plates, too? Or what do you want to do? Got plates. How do you want to do this? Uh, yeah, we can, we can do, like, individual plates for each of us. I'll use the tray since it's out here then. Yep. All right. And you guys can get. I'll put this one back. Get, or, I mean, you can use the tray. It's your tray. <laughs> All right, I'm taking myself a big old spoonful of the muesli here. One thing I noticed about this is the pouch isn't big enough to support the main. Yeah, that's huge main, man. Look at that. that I, that's what I said. It, it felt like it was going to be way too much. Because the powder's still in the bottom, and I can't mix it because there's no room. I think this needs more water. Yeah. It's I like more water. It's like spackle. It's like super it. thick here. and sticky. That's good. Oh, I mean, it's good, but it's like... it. It's so thick it that you can't. Water. Yeah. There you go. I got it. I'm gonna take a bite of it the way it is, though, for sure. That's how I. That's how I like mine. Mm. Thick and sticky. Yeah, but when it's so thick and it's, sticky, yeah. you break a plastic spoon. That's too thick and sticky. Yeah, it's actually. Yeah, it's a little too thick. I'm gonna try a little bit of this. No sweetness to the muesli except from the fruit. There you go. It's very creamy. Yeah, I can use a little, little of the wet there. There we go. How much, oh, man. How much is that tea? I'm a fan. Uh, 180 milliliters. Yeah. Not very much. Sugar packets, will you? Yep. That got, muesli got a bunch sugar. of them, man. Yep. I agree. I think the muesli could... You want to use all that on one or no? No, no, no. Okay, so I'll take some. So I, I, there's no SEM in there. I like I like SEM on my muesli. I got some There's creamer. Milk. Just creamer. Um... And sugar. SEM is the best way to go on music. Yeah, they're definitely not going to provide that in a, in a UK oh, yeah. fashion. <laughs> Dude, with that sugar, much better. Yeah, I'm, I, which we are used to having sweet oatmeals and stuff like that for our breakfast. 
get you a good look at that. Mm. Dude, so the, the chunks of fruit in it are really nice. There's a chunk of mango in it right there. Yeah, yeah there we go. See that chunk of mango in there? Looks like there's uh, some pieces of banana in there as well. Very milky. Mm. Mm. It's really good. It's really thick. Thick, creamy, and oaty. Yeah, it needs SEM on it. For sure, bro. But it's really good. He said that fruit, that fruit really pops. Yeah, without the fruit, it would be uh, very bland. I mean, it's bland anyway compared to what we're used to. But this is very European. Yeah. I would say. Which I don't mind not being super sweet. And then we have the uh, tropical oh, fruit mix. Right? Fruit and nut mix here. Which I honestly should have opened this up and added some of this. Look at those peanuts. Those are weird looking peanuts. Are they raw peanuts? They are. Those are not roasted or anything. Those are weird. Huh. I think the nutritional value is higher in raw nuts. That's probably why they're doing this when the cold weather. That makes sense. If you want to, you could. Mm. But this there you go. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to add a little Dude, bit of the, was oh, is it the fruit and nut mix? mix to it. Yeah, the, the, it's got raw yeah. peanuts in it, though. Uh, which kind of ruins it for me, personally. That's all I wanted was that piece right there. Mm -hmm. And that little piece right there. It does go well with the muesli, though. I'll say that. Yeah. Mm, not papaya, bad. dude. That papaya was awesome. There you go. Yeah, that adds a lot of flavor to the muesli. Mainly peanuts in there, though, so you guys can see. Set that off to the side here now. Um, Drinks. Here's, um, we got the strawberry done. We need uh, hot, hot water for your tea. Um, okay. You will mix up that. We'll do a hot tea. Sorry, hang on a second. No, now. you're good. You're good. Oh, you're on. I don't know if that, no. The other one's got plenty of water in it already. Okay. It's the thing. It only takes 180 milliliters, so. I want her top. Yeah. Be careful. Yep, you're good. Okay. That's why I double, double handed it there. Okay. Um, I can take this spoon out of this one. Using this one, and then this. So here's a look at it after it's actually dissolved properly. That's fun. That's too fun. Yeah. Color's a lot different. Oh, look at that. No. <sighs> That's good. That's good. Okay, Bob's going to give us a read on the tea. No, you go for it. I just want a little taste. Yeah. I've never had three in one tea, so. Oh man, more. there was some. There was three teas. It, so. it tastes like that tip, typhoon tea, doesn't it? Typhoo, yeah. typhoon, yeah, typhoon, 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 whatever it's called. I don't know called. if that's breakfast tea or not. I don't think it is. The red's not. Dude, that's good tea. It's got a, it's got a bite to it. <clears throat> like a like a not an English breakfast. What's Earl Grey? Mm -hmm. Earl Grey's the bitter one, right? Earl Grey, yep. Hmm. Now the uh, this main's gonna get. I drink off. that. I would. What is it? This is the main. The and it's 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 warm that's right now. It should be beat. ready to go. All right, let's do that. This is the, uh, the. There might still be some powder in the bottom. That yeah, pouch is near pie. big enough for that. <clears throat> Feel beef down. But there. see how they put the tear line there, so you can tear it into a bowl. But look at, they yeah. got that idea for me. Well, the whole thing is, if you tear it, you're going to lose half the food. <laughs> <laughs> My competition across the pond is taking after me now. Maybe I can shake it up a little bit, just in case it is dry on the bottom. I can add more water. We just add more water. It's definitely thick. Yeah, I can tell. But I, I added Do that the amount of water, and then I added more. For what I it did, calls for? Yeah, I added, I almost doubled it because it just kept on being powdered and thick. Oops. Here's okay, the we're good. Room. Let's take a look at it. Let's see. Okay, yep, there's definitely some powder in there. I can, you want me to add more water? As you can see. Later. See you later, man. Good to meet you, dude. Yes, sir, you too. Oh, that smells really nice, though. It smells really beefy. 
Uh, that's the serving spoon? Yep. Okay. Get myself a, a spoonful of that out here onto the tray, and it is insanely thick. Yeah, this is a very uh, interesting experience, man. This is this is a meal that's meant for straight up Arctic conditions. There you go. Lots of calories. I might get some more out of that in a little bit. We, we're definitely gonna want to add some more water to that, though. Yep. Now let's open up some. Of yeah, cause like look in there. That's still powder down in there. Yep. Got more water boiling. But I'm gonna try it as it is. Yep. As it sets. Yeah, I'm gonna try some too. Just cause, cause I'm starving. And I see some nice beef chunks in there. And those potatoes are really well flavored, it looks like, with that's the a, beef stock. That's a nice homemade homemade flavor to it. Or, I definitely pick up on the onion. I smell some garlic in there, too. The onion's coming through, like, really predominantly. Those mashed potatoes got a really nice brown hue color to them. I got stuff all over my fingers. Sorry, guys. I don't know if that's muesli or... Or this uh, cottage pie. Cottage pie. I've never heard that term before tonight. Down the hatch. Hmm. Okay. So the first thing that I notice is the beef did not reconstitute. Still crunchy. But it does add a really nice flavor. And the, I'm telling you what, it's very strong with the beef flavor, I would say. It tastes like it's a little bit salty, like a little bit high in sodium. There's a lot of food. It's though. very thick, and it is a, it, this is a ton of food. It probably needs a package twice or three times its size. Yeah, the, the package that it came in, it should have been about twice the size. So you could actually mix it up properly in it. Oh, okay. Super chat. Got you, Miss Marilyn. Hmm. Where'd it go? There we go. MRE kid says, are there Halloween MREs anywhere? Uh, that's something Bob should do. Just like the sweet stuff, like the candy and oh, yeah. stuff like that. Uh, not that I know of, other than maybe having Bob make one or, you know, for this coming Halloween, that would be the only one I would ever have known of or heard of. Next summer, when I get a job, I'm buying one of Bob's 120 hour rations. Is that, that's five, is that, that's five days, right? It's 120 yes, hours. Yes, yep, that's the Kronos or the Alpha or Omega. Uh, you know, I just looking through the Kronos, man, there's so much stuff in that. Just what I've seen on top. I didn't dig into anything, but. That list really says a lot about what's going on inside of there. So, yeah, super, super cool. Full of survival items and first aid and all kinds of stuff like that. So I'm going to set that there for a second. I want to try this cold tea that everybody's ragging on so hard that I decided to make one of the three-in-one teas cold. And... Uh, See if I was right by doing so. Uh, by the way, thank you for that super chat. Did I not say that? I don't think I did. Thank you for that super chat, MRE kid. And I'll ask Bob about a, a Halloween MRE for you. All right, here we go. Cool tea. Um, I think I might have added just a little bit too much water to it. But it's really refreshing. Lightly creamy. Lightly sweet. And it's got a really nice standard you know standard black tea flavor i like that actually let's see if i prefer it over this hot tea right here oh no the hot tea's better <laughs> it is although it just depends on what kind of temperature you're like yeah obviously cold weather you're gonna you're gonna drink this hot but if it was a nice warm summer day this cold would be right up my alley. I didn't, I dumped out of the cold there. If you want to try the cold. Yeah, yeah. I like the cold. Yeah. And I do really enjoy this. Uh, uh, the cold's not bad. I like it. 
I do. I like it. I'm going to eat all this before it's uh, before it cools off. Yeah, I added another cup of water. It's eight bagged, ounces. Yeah, and, and it's still full, and it's still got powder in it. So I don't know if they messed that up or. It felt like it was like double packed. I'll be yeah. honest. It's looking better. Yeah. I'll show them. Yeah. Dubsy added another eight ounces of water to this. Still. You can feel powder at the bottom. Still and there's still bit. some powder in the in the flaps at the bottom on the uh, gusseted bottom. Huh. I swear, whenever I picked it up, I was like, "That feels like it's double packed." Agreed. I think there's a good chance that they they might have stuffed that one with twice as much food as they needed to, or were supposed to. Because this beef right here did not reconstitute at all. It's like still dry chunks. I'm going to try some of this. Now that it's, now that it's wet. <laughs> yeah. Next, uh, we have the strawberry rice porridge and the strawberry drink that could go together really well. Yeah, the strawberry drink's been sitting there reconstituting because it's, got, it's the strawberry drink has real sugar in it. And it just was like super grainy. It's almost, I mean, it's got a light pink hue to it, but it's not, uh, you can see how far you can see the spoon down in there all the way. Not a lot of food coloring in that. Now it's, it does smell amazing though. The cottage beef, is that a pie similar to make to a pasty? And that, that's what it reminds me of. And they would take it mining. and they. What is this it. called? It's, it's called a cottage. Cottage beef, I believe. No, cottage pie. Cottage so pie. So cottage yeah. pie, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, it was a pie that they would make, and miners would take it, and they would have the crust. You know how that like edge on a crust, and their hands were dirty, so they would actually use the crust to hold it and eat it, and then they would throw away the crust. See, I think you can bake this into like a I, yeah, in a, in more a, I think solid. You ever had a, a pasty type deal? Like, mm -hmm. a, like a, it looks like a fruit pile, but it's got meat in it like this. And I think that's a cottage pie. They're trying to replicate that. Like potato. Uh, Potato uh, pie, I yeah. guess is what you call it. Got, you would fry this. You put this in a little yeah. bit of oil and fry it and just pat it down. Yep. I am into pain with super chat. How's it going, Smokey? How's it going? I'm into pain. Good to see you in the chat. Holy cow, man! Thank you for that. Coming in with the twenty dollars super chat, man. Oh man, thank you so much, man. I super appreciate you guys. I do enjoy that the beef isn't really too salty. It has a, it's, it's got a nice It flavor. doesn't taste like it's high in sodium like no. a lot of stuff is, mm -hmm. although this is a cold water, or cold water, cold weather. You are going to need some sodium in these, but it's not going to be as high as what it would be for a summer meal. Mm -hmm. um, can I see that really quick? I'm going to see what kind of sodium levels we're talking about here. Yeah. If it even says. Um, no, the, tr the traditional... Nutrition facts. Let's see. Here's your energy. This is a uh, wow. There's no way this is only 415 calories. That or this was this had to be we double. We tried it yet? I think this yeah, was double. Right. Man, I need some. You missed Get it. you some. I think he, that he dropped it down and everything on the table vibrated. I think double pack yeah. that. I added another cup of water to that and look how much is still in that. You've added Holy more than cow. a cup of water. Yeah. Oh, well, no. You I, added a couple times. Yeah. yeah. No, he added, yeah. He had water a couple extra times, and it's still smell it, man. It's 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 good. Onion. Wait till YouTube gets smell vision. Mm. Oh yeah, everybody's mouth will be watering right now. I'm telling you, it's really really good. That's one of the it's best freeze dried mains I've had. Mm. Mm -mm. The hamburger's not reconstituted. Yeah, it, I know. An, we've added water. Freeze dried hamburger, very hard to reconstitute. The thing is, I'm pretty sure this was double packed. Yeah, because it was so full of powder. And you know, potato oh, flakes. It's good and beef. flavor, though. My God, the yeah. onion and garlic in it really comes through. It's not too. Have we cranked up the rice pudding yet? Nope. Rice pudding and the strawberry drinks next. And the hamburger patty. Yeah, you want me to start warming that up? He's already done the strawberry drink. No, you he mm. haven't tried it yet. No, don't don't heat up anything till he says to. Yep, he'll be back in a second. Yep, I'll just have it ready. <laughs> We're gonna pause for a slight intermission. <laughs> we have the freeze dried rice pudding next. Nice. Yeah, this is uh, this one's actually pretty good. But still, after all that water. Hey, you want him to move your car real quick? Dub, I need you to move your car.
Sorry, guys. I had to take a quick breather right there. Hey, where are your car keys? Uh, he can't get out. He uh, can't get out. I don't know where they're at. So maybe they're in it. I think they're in it. Oh, another super chat. Miss Marilyn says, sorry, guys, I had to go to the restroom. I drank a lot of liquid on the way here. And, uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> lots of water and stuff. So. Be safe. All right. B-O-B-Y, white water bag, did not have a cap. It is supposed to have one. Wait, what? Huh? White water, what? I'm lost. Maybe she's talking to someone in the chat. I, I look down and I try to read the chat and they're having conversations. White in the chat, water so bag like did idiot. not have a cap. It is supposed to have. Oh, can you uh, me, uh, warm this up? The beef burger? Oh, the beef burger. Hold on. Totally. For, that would have been good to add into. The, Kaylin, uh, are you talking about one of these? I, we still have extra of that. The, we still got that stuff left over and so warm. So I can warm this up. And you can throw, throw that down. See, but we got the free dried strawberry for now. Okay. Um. Let's get the biscuits brown open. We got cheese spreads. We got fruit flat pack. We got an orange cake. Kaylin, I'll send you another one next time we send an order to you. Oh, okay. So, okay. Bob will take care of you. Miss Kaylin? Always. Always, always. Yeah, you got If Bob screws something up, you just tell him and he'll fix it. I do know that. Yep. I mean, because stuff does happen. I don't make mistakes happen. often, but. I mean, it does happen. It does You're happen. You're only human. So, the Biscuits Brown are one of my favorite crackers that come in a ration. Honestly, they're, yeah, they're one of the best. Good. The Biscuits Brown, honestly, my favorite are the Biscuits Fruit. I love them. I'm just with some jam on them. It's like, oh, my God, they're so good. You want some jam for that oatmeal block? Uh, I got strawberry. I got I got grape jelly for CT. Mmm, grape. Uh, that or... We mixed up one of those uh, those whipped toppings already, and I don't know what I'd done with it. We ate it. You want to whip we? up we make I don't one? think we did. I, I think regular. we handed it. I thought you handed it to me. I ate it. It's gone. Uh, oh, okay. Somebody, I got regular and pumpkin spice. Which one do you want? Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't mind trying the pumpkin spice. May as well. I mean, that'd go good with oatmeal anyway. For sure. So, <clears throat> I need a cold let's take a look at this super that fresh that cheese spread real quick. Just one, just because it's in there. Look at that. That's what a fresh cheese spread is supposed to look like. You guys have seen me eat curdled gray green cheese before. And uh, this, I can't smell it. Oh, I can smell soap on my hands. Yep. Anyway, let me try this fresh cheese spread. I want a biscuit brown. Nice. So one, mm. of, our, one of your viewers took advantage of that 20% off and ordered them a crumb. Save really? 20% on the Cronus. Look, it took $97 off the Cronus. Oof. That's that was huge. probably... Um... He's from West Virginia. Really? Yeah. You got your quarter cup scoop? Is it blind? It wasn't blindside, was it? No. I don't... I, I want to know what his computer Let me... is. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'll show it to you later. Well, I don't want to look at someone's personal information. Oh, That's... no, it doesn't show any personal information. Just shows the name. Not, not my, no, not no, my no. right. No, all it does is show a name. Now that uh, super fresh cheese, that always seems to be easier to handle. Yeah. I like the super, the super fresh cheese is the only way I like the cheese spread. Um, I do obviously like the cheese spread with jalapenos up to about in, anywhere between five and ten years old. But oh, look at those, dude! I once had cheese spread jalapeno that was less than a week old. Dry it roasted. was so good. It, it, the fresher it is, the better. I will say that. There's no doubt about that. These are our dry roasted peanuts. Let's see how these are. These are made by Mr. Filberts. I guess that's Mr. Filbert. Uh, what do you think about those? After the cheese spread. <clears throat> Let me try the cheese. Mm. What do you think about this pack? Do you think it hold up? I do, actually. It's pretty thick. It's got it, yeah. The packaging, I think these nuts would last five to ten years. Mm. Mm. They, these are a lot better than the nuts that are in the uh, <laughs> in the fruit and nut mix, wherever it went. I don't know what I've done with it. The fruit and nut mix that was in there. I can open it right now. 
Dude, here we go. The dry roasted peanuts are good. Here we go, bro. And that's the pumpkin spice whip pumpkin topping. Pumpkin spice whip topping. Now, this is just to help you uh, get things going throughout your digestive tract, more or less. I'm going to add some. You ready? You ready? Sure. Some pumpkin spice whip topping. Oh, that stuff's so thick it won't come off the spoon. You add a little bit more to that. There we go. You want to try some without the cooking? I'm going to spread it with the, just to make it look pretty. Mm. Man, that's good stuff. It was actually my wife's idea. Phenomenal woman. I want to smell it. Mm. There it Man. is. Man, that's good stuff. So the oatmeal block on its own is kind of grainy. Obviously, it has an oatmeal flavor to it, but it's not real, like, cinnamony or sugary. It's basically kind of a dry oatmeal block just to get it it serves a purpose i'm gonna clean off that spoon as soon as i get these peanuts chewed up the peanuts i'm not impressed with for a dry roasted peanut I expected more uh they're not very they're not very salty which is fine but uh hmm hmm you know the nice thing about owning the MRE company? That's exactly... Yeah. Oops. Eat whatever you want, whenever you want it. Well, I just dropped that. I'll get it. Sorry, man. You're fine. You're fine. We got plenty of spoons. All right. So I'm going to break myself off a chunk of this. Got a couple, 10,000. 10, and take a bite of the oatmeal block with some pumpkin spice whip topping. Oh, my favorite drink mm. mix ever. Mm hmm ever ever in the history of mankind here you go eric a rack <laughs> you need a compressed napkin <laughs> a napkin would be he good. said you need a compressed napkin oh wait here did it come with napkin oh there we go there we go Use the white. I did it. compressed napkins are the way to go it's all in my mustache these things are huge by the way guys check that out and they're very Tough. To, you want to play it on this and then put the... Sure, yeah. Well, so we can take a look at it. The beef burger, guys, is ready. What an interesting item to get in a UK ration. Something right. I never thought that I'd see. So the only thing we have right now that close to this, as far as look of the packaging, is the pork flavored, or the maple flavored pork sausage okay. patty. Or the jalapeno and, beef patty. Or the about jalapeno the beef size. patty, yeah. About the same size, kind of has the same feel through the packaging, more or less. Here, let me see that before you dump it out. I don't know if it's got juice. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Oh, no, it looks dry. Okay, let's... There we go. It wasn't freeze dried, was it? No, it was wet. Well, it smells really good. Oh, wow. Look at that. That looks like a piece of... No juice at all. I mean, it looks like a burger, (laughs) you know? No juice at all. It smells really good. Now, I do have that... Smell that. Got breadcrumbs as one. Oh of the man! Oh, it's got breadcrumbs like a binder yeah. to uh, you know make the patty. It's like a mini meatloaf, dude. That's yeah. Awesome. It's like a little, like a little tiny. You know, it'd be good on that. Some of our beef gravy. Let's take this knife here on the other side of the Minotaur eating utensil and cut a chunk of this off. And I'm just gonna eat it with my fingers. Okay, what is what is that? Some kind of pepper or something in there, maybe. Looks like it. Maybe mushroom. Oh, I think it did say it had like chili pepper, or no, it had uh, jalapeno peppers in it, maybe. I don't know what to do. Mm. I'll tell you in a second. I like that. Oh man, yeah, dude. If I was out on maneuvers in the field, that's killer. I had that to eat? Heck yeah. And easy to eat. Oh, oh you'd yeah. think you'd think that because there's no flameless ration heaters in this, right? It's an Arctic ration. Right. You have to heat it in hot water. Yeah, I just boil it in hot water. You'd that's, have to. Well, that's how they do everything. Or yeah, they have in the a, Arctic. Well, they have stoves too, camp stoves that they mm-hmm. are you issued. Can, you can try some of this on top of the Man. Mm. Dude. Yeah. Let's uh That's good. Cut me off another piece that way. Yep. I'm gonna cut chunks of it. And I wanna try it with the it's like uh, meatloaf, really. What's that what's that called again? It's called the cottage, uh, cottage. beef. Nope, co- yeah, cottage pie. Yeah, cottage all, pie. all it is is some seasoning, mashed potatoes and beef. I might have to make a cottage pie. I'm gonna grab that one right yep. there. I don't know what All those right. little red flakes are, man, but they're good. I think they're red chili. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Red chili. Uh, yeah, they're definitely a chili pepper. Dude, that is so good. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my man. There's still a ton of powder in the bottom. Oh really? Yeah. The longer this sets, the more that beef will reconstitute. But there, with a chunk of the beef patty, is that what it's called? No, beef burger. Beef burger. Man, if they would have gave you one a piece of bread to put that on, oh, a hamburger pan. Mm. Mm hmm. Look at the amount of powder it's still in there. Holy it cow! Had to, it had to be double. Yeah, it's a double portion. Of that Look at thing. that. Show the camera. A little further towards me and tilt it. Yeah, right there. there. Look at the powder still in the bottom. See it? Wow. They had to have double packaged that. Okay, so Dude, that was good, the though. beef burger added to the cottage pie is I two thumbs up. The cottage pie, I mean it's it's it is it's really good on its own, but when you add that much extra protein and that much extra beef to it, oh Dude, I'd buy that ration just for the chocolate bar and that hamburger patty. Yeah. That yeah. hamburger patty was good. That thing is awesome, and it was it was bigger than I thought it'd be. Mm, mm hmm. Yeah, it's the same size as what our patties are, I think. Yeah, that's a pretty good size. Let's see. Eighty grams. Wow. Ours would be similar. Yeah, I think ours is seventy six. Yeah. Well, yeah. I like that it's not. I like that it's dry. I don't. I don't like the it's juice effect. Yeah, it's too oily and greasy. Mm -hmm. Beef patty grilled to seventy four grams. Seventy four. I, th I was close. I thought yeah. it was 76. Good job. I was thinking it was 70-something. Okay, you guys want to split that? Oh, I don't. I'm, I'm getting full. I'm saving room for that chocolate. All the chocolate we Wait got. Wait till you we open We got strawberries and cream bar. rice pudding. Um, we have, anybody get any of the biscuits brown and the cheese the spread? Is that orange this cake? This is the orange-flavored cake. Man, this is an amazing meal, by the way. <laughs> it's a lot of great items. You want to try the strawberry next? Strawberry, strawberry? I want to try the cake next. You always eat your dessert first. You might die while you're having dinner. Okay. Always eat your dessert first in case you die before you finish your meal. Got it. Dessert's the best part. What did I... Oh, there it is. Do I need to warm up any more water? You guys were napkins. I forgot about these. <laughs> <laughs> they give you plenty. They give you what you need. Let's take a look at this orange-flavored cake. Do we need coffee at all, or is it just yeah, that? Yeah, we do. We need some coffee. Yeah. Right. Seed it up for some coffee. Got it. We got three coffees and a crap load of sugar and creamers. There's eight sugars in there. Wow. And there's six creamers. We'll see you later, History. Mm. Hey, History, I got a box heading your way, by the way. I'm trying to open it like a bag of chips. There we go. Let me try some of these biscuits brown. Is CT, is CT on the live stream? Yes, he We're going to have to eat some uh, grape belly and drink a grape drink in his honor before we Oh, that it. smells Look at the size so of good. <clears throat> so good. Is that wrapped in the paper? Oh, yep. oh, look at that. These are the UN cakes is what they are. Yeah. The ones that come into UN rations. Wow, those, those biscuits are awesome. Look at that. Wow. What a pound cake. So is that made in Spain then? That's a good question. It does have yeah, Hebrew writing on it. Let me see. I got it. Made by mixed. Okay, so I'm going to use the knife again. What I cut with that? Okay, let me use this to clean the the knife off. Oh, CT <clears throat> Gunner is saving up for a case of first strike rations. He's going to keep us updated on his progress. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little inside joke. Thanks yeah. for the super chat, CT. Jamipsa manufactured Spain by Jamipsa. Yeah, okay, so that is a Jamipsa item. Yep, they're and the this, ones. This they're ration, the ones that do the UN combat rations. Yeah, dude, this rations all over the place. I mean, you got two different manufacturers of your your freeze dried pouches. Right. You got Summit right here, Summit to yeah, eat. Yeah, but Summit's good food. Summit's really good food. And then you got this MX3 right here that made the uh, the cottage pie, which is amazing. And then you have beef. Uh, the uh, beef, beef patty, patty made in Germany. Which was made in Germany. By Marco Flauschwaren. Yeah. We'll call it Marco. Marco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll just call him Marco. Why not? Marco in Germany. Now, I can already smell the insanely intense orange essence coming out of this cake. And I can't wait to try it. There you go. Bob. Oh, danke. Bob. Look at little German. Wow. Oh, my God. It's very intense. 
Dude. As far as the scent goes, get you a nice you get that look flavor. at the cross oh, section there. Dense. Damn. Does look like a moist, dense cake. All right, here we go. Mm, that's good. With this orange flavored cake mm. down the hatch. That needs absolutely nothing it's added perfect. to it. Perfect mm. as is. Nothing. Maybe some powdered sugar. It's almost like it has. But that is awesome. Like an icing layer on top. Is almost, right. It almost seems that way, even though it isn't. Although, I don't know. Maybe it was baked with something moist on top. You see that, like, layer right there on the top right here? Mm. It got mm. a different texture to it on top. But that orange is very natural. Oh, wait a minute. Sparrow has made a good good suggestion there. That Save a piece of well that to that. eat with the piece of the chocolate. Oh, yeah. We still got a little cake yep. left there. Okay. Let's check out the fruit flapjack. Because this is different than they used to be. They used to be like yeah. larger and flatter. They used to come in a big retort pouch. I got a couple out in the warehouse. Oh, yeah, that looks way different yeah. than I remember it. I mean, it's similar. It's just, I don't know. No smell, really, at all. Oh, wow, it's pretty yeah, dry, too. Yeah. yeah. The last one I had was pretty moist. Was it? Yeah. So, moist. Moist. That's a word you don't hear all the time. Not very often. That cake right there was super moist, though. Night, Quantum. All right, let's give this a try. Fruit Flapjack. Mm. Fruit Flapjack. Mm-hmm. Try a piece. Mm-hmm. It's like a granola bar? Mm. <clears throat> um, no. But yes. It's more like a fruity oatmeal bar. It's it's hard to explain, actually. So it is it mm. is a little bit moist. There's a lot mm. of fruit going on in there. Raisins, maybe some sultanas. Something citrus. Yeah. One thing, I, I remember this now about the old ones. Immediately coated my mouth with this, with the, that, like, oily or fat coating. Not a huge fan of that myself, <clears throat> but I understand why it's that way. But it does have plenty of fruit in it, which is, was kind of one of my concerns. You can see it throughout there. Mm. Yeah, that's actually really good. I'm looking forward to trying the, uh, we got the, the right, rice pudding. We got the strawberry drink and the rice pudding. This is strawberry rice pudding oh. made cold. Oh, those are oh good. yes. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, I think I need a spoon. Here, right here. Okay, that's right. I'm going to set that there for a second and make room. There we go. There's absolutely a ton of food in this. Yeah, well, yeah. 5,500 calories worth. Uh, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of food. That's a lot of calories. Let's see. In a case times eight, that would be what? 50, that would be 45,000 calories in the in eight of them or a little give or take something like that i'm rough guess rough guesstimating say 5500 calories 5500 calories times uh, so it's 44 42 44 44,000 44,000 okay. 44, calories and this is the I'm only strawberry the boat, so. whoop, whoop. Mm. strawberry rice pudding made by summit uh, eat summit eat summit oh, that, eats. Yeah. It might be it's got a great smell to it. That was good. Holy cow! Mm -hmm. The strawberry just pops, man. Mm. See, I'm mm. not usually a huge fan of rice pudding in general, but when you add strawberry to wow. it, wow, it makes it really, really nice. It's very light. It's creamy, mm -hmm. and it's it's not. Not artificial. No, there's no, there's nothing artificial at all about that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to carry that. I am. I'm gonna order a bunch of that and carry it on the website. I like that. Don't That's really it? good. Yeah. There's something really refreshing about it. Right. It's got a really clean taste to it. Yeah, it's really. And the clean. strawberries they do, they're they're still. Maybe that's rice. I can't tell. Something's still got a crunch to it. Where we use cold water. We use cold water. It takes like 30, 40 minutes Don't let that go to, to be able to. Uh, oh. 
going to say that. That hamburger patty cannot go to waste. Nothing Reconstitute. Go to waste. Yeah, nothing, but, no, nothing here is going to go to waste tonight. Mm. I don't know what it is, man. It's something about that is super clean and refreshing. You know what, like cilantro does to a taco? Whatever is, it's, it's, it reminds me of that because it gives you that super fresh. If it was hot, I don't think I'd like it as oh, well. Oh, no way. It, it's way better. Well, I haven't had it hot yet, but I, I can imagine. If it was warm, it would bring out more of the fruit flavor. And the rice would be softer. The rice would be softer, yeah. But. So, I guess if you had time to make it with hot water and then let it cool down in the snow... Ooh, that would, that be, would perfect. be awesome. Oh, I you can make it perfect. Gotcha, Just make gotcha. it with hot water. Yep. And Seal then it up, let drop it, set. it down the snow. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that would be really. That'd be good. the way to go. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this with the the fruitful muesli over here, because uh, because you can. And I think that it it that fruit flavor, a little bit of sweetness that the strawberry rice pudding has, which that is your dessert. Not even that cake. That cake's not your dessert. That chocolate bar is not your dessert. This rice right. pudding is your dessert. That rice pudding's awesome. That rice pudding's. But really, you've got multiple desserts. You got the cake, the chocolate bar, and the rice pudding. So you have a dessert for every meal. You want coffee now? That a twenty-four hour meal. They don't usually give that to you in the UK. Usually, you get one dessert. You got a mug to put the coffee in? Do I need to go get a coffee mug? Mm, a mug? Coffee, yeah. I do want to try this new coffee because I haven't had this type of coffee before. Oh, what is that? <laughs> you want to use that? What is it? Hot water. Yeah. Yep. Have you ever had that grapefruit flavored drink mix? Yep. Ugh. One of my favorites. Is it really? Yeah. It's very natural. Dude. You don't like grapefruit? No. No. Oh, well, then there you go. You gotta like grapefruit. To like grapefruit. To like it. it's very natural though. It tastes like real grapefruit. Um, of course, you're also a corned beef hash kind of guy, aren't you? Yeah. You're not? <laughs> That's one of the best vintage rations that you can get Corn your hands on. hash is the only ration I've ever made that I have not eaten. Really? Yeah. You just don't like it, huh? Just don't like it. Had too much of it growing up. Yeah, yeah well, that's like me with bologna. I, can't, yeah. I cannot stand the sight of bologna, the smell of bologna. Only way I can eat bologna now is a big, thick slice of it fried over an open fire. Put on two big old pieces of white bread with onions and mayonnaise. That's about the only way I can eat bologna now. Okay, so I'm going to start off by saying that this coffee doesn't smell the greatest. It's black for somebody. If you want to um, add I'm cream good. or sugar to it, go I'm for good. it. You're good on the coffee? I just finished a cup. Okay. Well, I'm not going to sleep as mm, it is. It's too hot for me to try right now, I would say, but I'm going to try it anyway. It's... It's really light. Is it? It's no. There's. It's Might have used too much water. That's what I was thinking. I just dumped whatever you gave me into it. Oh yeah, I mean. I don't know how much that was. That was is uh. Probably like ten ounces, wasn't it? Hundred and eighty milliliters. And well, it doesn't tell you either. Mm hmm. But it should be. Uh, this should be like six to seven ounces tops. I would say. Okay. So I'd say we're probably two or three ounces over. Yeah. It's Which still, still not good. bad for it's being good. that much over. Yeah. It's it's still strong enough to taste like coffee. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's. I would say it's a medium roast. It's yeah. definitely not a dark. It's, no. It doesn't have that dark aroma. No, not at all. It's, it's a good cup of coffee. Not the best I've ever had. No. The best I've ever had out of a... And the best ration coffee I've ever had, other than some vintage coffee, now I'm talking fresh stuff, is the... Uh, what brand is that? Uh, it's Dow Egberts. That's what it is. Ooh, Dow that's Egberts. Good stuff. That's the best yeah. instant coffee I've ever had. And that's what was in the 2016, 2015, 2016, both had the uh, the Dow Egberts in it. Really, really good stuff. Somebody suggested we do something with something. and uh, Did we do that? Whatever they suggested. Something with something? We, we, had we added spice. the beef with the... Well, we had the pumpkin spice and the brown. We yeah. had... The only on, thing the, got, on the oatmeal block, we did that. Yeah, what we got left is we got the strawberry drink. We got we've done the coffee, and we got. The, oh, I haven't tried the strawberry drink yet, but I think it should be probably good to go. I love this though. The strawberry. Uh, yeah, there's rice more. You can really good. I might eat a little bit more later. Um. 
So we have the strawberry drink right there to try. Which is one that we should try for sure. I've never seen a strawberry. Like, is it isotonic per se? No, it's a sports drink. So sports it's going to it's going to be um. It's like gonna, Gatorade. Yep. Yeah. Right here. Okay. It's fortified energy drink powder. It's going to have uh, vitamins and minerals Six added to it. Eight. Looks Six. like. See, it's got B1 in it. Turmeric extract. Yeah, so it's definitely got some additives in it. Wait, is that the right one? I don't know if the strawberry was on top or not. <clears throat> I ripped it off, so I can't tell. Yeah, but anyway, look, well, it's got all the different oh. flavors on the back, so I'm not sure. Mm. Oh, no, it's down here. Cups. Here it is. B1. I got, one. I got one. So that one's still empty. Yes. I'll take some of that. Got it? Yep. That's a full cup. That's good. Perfect. There we go with wow. the strawberry, and it no, did pretty oh, much man. all dissolve, I think. It tastes almost like strawberry juice. It's yeah. a little bit thicker than yeah. a normal, like a cold drink. Kind of viscous. That's good. Mm. Yeah, it's like straight up juice and strawberry. I do taste some salt in there. Obviously, some sodium going on in there. For the probably a sports mm -hmm. side of it. Yeah. It does kind of. The the strawberry flavor is nice, but I do pick up some of that vitamin flavor in there. Yeah. Mm. I like it. <coughs> I think that's my favorite of all the British drinks. Wrong old. Uh -oh. <laughs> you okay? <clears throat> I definitely <clears throat> picked up one of the vitamins as I could smell it as I was uh, drinking uh. it. Yeah. The B vitamins I pick up in the in the flavoring. But it's a really good strawberry. It's a solid. See, because what you're going to be burning through all kinds of different vitamins and minerals when you're in a cold weather environment like that. It's basically wreaking havoc on your body. You want to replenish those as much as you possibly can with the different foods. And the way food and science for military food nowadays is they're adding so many different minerals and vitamins to try to boost your cognitive abilities to try to boost just all different types of aspects of your health and the science behind it is amazing stuff that I, I don't even understand yet i really want to dive into the specifics behind the food science and uh my buddy that i was talking to i'm calling him my buddy the guy that i talked to at natick a few times there a few months back talking about the cold weather rations which i still need to do the review on I never did find out any solid information on that, which I think I honestly can kind of just give up. I'm not going to ever find what I need. But, uh, yeah, uh, CT. Okay, now, let me, I'm going to put the brakes on. I'm going to stop for a second what I'm doing. And I'm going to suggest that you guys go down to my description. Check out every reviewer that I have in my description. Everybody down there, if you make it into my description, you're worth, the, the channels are worth checking out. Um if you put a little bit of work into your videos or whatever it is, your channel, then, and, uh, then you get onto my, my description link, then I can suggest that people go check out their channels. Also, there is a link in my description, uh, to Minotaur, to Dub C store, Dub C store.com. There's also right now, as this live stream goes on, you can go and get 20% off with some code that I told you about earlier. I can't remember what the code is. Um, Bob something. Bob, <laughs> Bob 20, I believe. Uh, it wasn't Bob 20. It was, okay. uh, yeah, ask Bob what it is. Because, I mean, if you guys want to take advantage of a 20% off discount. So, okay, so it is just Bob 20. If you guys want to go take advantage of that at minotaur.com, you, uh, you can get yourself 20% off of your entire order. So minotauretradingcompany.com. Minotaur, yeah, there's a there is a clickable link to Minotaur Trading Company down in my description. You should be able to just go down there, click on it, go over there, browse everything that they have. By the way, like I can, um, I think this is it right here, right? To yeah, up and down. Right here. Oh, okay, got it. So just quick tilt up around here, and uh, this one's for my left to right, right? Uh, no, right here. Like, yeah, right yeah, here. There you go. Yeah. So. This is kind of like the, the showroom, the main room. I'll take it back down here. 
it was like, I don't know, there's all kinds of candy bars. And I think those are halva bars down there or something. That Sansa bar, Sansa. Those might be halva. Um, there's I really all like those things. bars over there. But here are the uh, the cold weather rations that Bob has put together, which I planned on opening one of while we were here, and I didn't do. Uh, which I'll bring one home for a live stream, guys. I'll bring one of these home. Bob will give me one to uh, to check out on a live stream because I haven't had one of these. I've seen a couple reviews that folks have done. I've seen one CT done, I believe, and I think I watched one that Shocker, I think Shocker done one and Dub. I seen Dub do one as well, that like an outdoor review. Him and Bob and somebody else was with him, and I seen that. But uh, as you guys can see, we have made a complete mess of this entirely huge table. And oh yeah, we got one other thing. <laughs> Almost forgot about it. This plain chocolate. Now, I thought this was supposed to be dark chocolate. It is. You can flip it on the back. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Dark chocolate. Okay. Does not say what percent. Oh, yep, there it is. 54% minimum. All right. And that's what I think is their minimum that they allow to, to oh, call it call dark, dark chocolate. Yeah. yeah. In the UK. I don't know what it is over here. I, if there's any regulation on it over here. It's kind of weird. Dark chocolate's not really a thing over here like it is everywhere else. I mean, it's it's kind of picking up a little traction over the past few years, but yeah. not anywhere near like it is else place other places in the world, I would say. Marilyn wants to do the chocolate with the orange cake. Oh, that's right. That's a good call. Okay. Somebody, yeah, somebody suggested that earlier. It was Gabe. No, I think, CT said 96 no. something. That's cool. But yeah, let's take a look at this chocolate bar. Am I going to get a chance to win the Kronos? Yep. $10 in the tip jar, you get a chance to win the Kronos uh, over on Dub's channel. Or his uh, store, sorry, channel. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh, that smells really good. Look at the chunks on that. Really good. It's kind of got a little bit of a texture to it there. Break that off. Okay. Bob, yeah. we're into the chocolate bar if you want to come and get you a piece of that. It does smell, it does, you do smell the dark chocolate. Oh, where's the chocolate? <laughs> it's got a really nice cocoa scent to it. Kind of has that creamy kind of cocoa scent to it that some dark chocolate has, and some of it has more of a bitter smell. This doesn't really have that bitter wow. smell. It has more of the creamy smell to it. Did I tell you? Did I tell you? There's the cross section on it. Mm. One thing I noticed right away. It's not real hard. Exactly. It's not. You know, it's like dark chocolate we have here. You bite into it, it's almost like flaky. I like some dark chocolate that's really hard like that. Mm -hmm. so, sometimes I'm a big fan of that when it's real crunchy. Just kind of depends. Mm. Uh, orange Mine's cake. Got three. Mm. Okay. Uh. Chocolate with the orange cake. I'm taking the end piece. Oh, he's getting the crust. Mm. There we go. It's going to sandwich that in there like like oh, that. Nice. Look at that. Oh, man, there you go. Does that look good? I got chocolate on my fingers, guys. That's what, what you're seeing there. All right, here we go. Down the hatch. Instantly, the orange, like, oh, yeah, it's an explosion. Hmm. Mm. And that if you drink the coffee, you still got coffee. It goes really well with that chocolate. It's gonna go well with the cake too, the and the chocolate. Yeah. I just after that I drink the chocolate, it almost enhanced the coffee mm -hmm. flavor. So you guys were right, the chocolate mixes well with the cake. Mm. Um it's dry. I would say it mixed with the chocolate, it gets really thick. And of course I'm having troubles talking. Yeah, you guys want to try the chocolate and cake? Yeah. I cut the cake. There you go. <laughs> Smitty. <laughs> it's not right, brother. <laughs> What's that? What he said? Smitty say? said you can also use my coupon code for 0% off. <laughs> <clears throat> <That's a> Smitty. <clears throat> I like Smitty. Smitty's a good dude. Mm. Uh, I think that's a dry cup. Hey, Fred Thorne's on the live stream. What's up, Fred? Fred. Oh, dude, I ain't seen Fred in a minute. I don't think I've seen you on here in a while, have I, Fred? 
Hadn't it been a while, Fred? Uh, I should, I got some vintage cigarettes with me. I'll take them outside with us to smoke here in a moment. Nope, that's dirty. Yes, the trays are for sale on MinotaurTradingCompany.com. Oh, yeah, you can get you some minute. He had another one out here a minute ago, but yeah, the trays are available. Oh, I'm going to be giving a tray away here on my Patreon. Uh, very give away one of ours? Take one home with you. Give it away. Sure. I, I can do that. It's all yours. So I guess I'll be giving away a, a Minotaur Trading Company tray on my Patreon as well. I have a tray of my own. That oh, I was, do you? Yeah. I I'm giving that. away over there. Yep. Oh, there you go. Not, that, not like branded mine. Oh. Just one of my old trays. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, people would rather have that if it's one you've used before in your reviews. That'd be yeah, cool. it's my old, yeah. old tray. Yeah, that'd yeah. be cool. Um, before I got the, the tray, the two, I have two trays right now and my trays, both the trays that I have right now, which I, sh I had four of these at one time. I gave one to shocker and I gave one to sticky fingers. I believe those are the two people that ended up with the two that I have the other two that I had, but the two that I have right now are both dated world war two. They were saved off. They, they belong to my neighbor's grandpa. Wow. He saved them off of a ship that was getting scrapped. Wow. The USS Cascade. They were tearing that ship down. He went into the galley, pulled trays, silverware. I also have two sets of silverware that came out of the galley on that ship. Nice. So they got an amazing backstory. They got it tied directly to my neighbors that have been my neighbors for uh, roughly 15 years now. 15, 16 years. So, nice. uh, yeah, pro probably 14, 15 years to be exact. So... But yeah, my, my neighbors have watched them grow up. They're uh, 20, 21 right now, my, my wow. neighbor kids. So I've watched them grow up from, you know, little kids riding around on tricycles and stuff. Oh, actually, they had these little cars, four wheel cars. Brian, we did a, a giveaway a couple weeks ago when we announced the, the Boreas, <clears throat> where if you did a $10 tip, you, you won a, you had a chance to win a chance to win a something. Mm -hmm. Chronos Alpha. And Brian won that, so he just went to Dub C's, <laughs> did a ten dollar tip <laughs> there too, so he can win the out. Brian, if you win that's the Chronos you, Omega, you also, dude, you're you you just need to go buy some lottery tickets after that. That's how you win them. All right, I'm going through the different drinks up here. We got hot tea, cold tea, hot coffee. Oh, no. If nobody's gonna finish that chocolate bar, I'm just saying it would it would be very well suited on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate bar? That stuff's awesome, man. Yeah. I'll tell you what. That is a good chocolate bar, dude. There you go. Take it. That's my breakfast that in the morning. Go for it. Nice. Oh my gosh. You're awesome, brother. Oh, I'm full. I'm stuffed. I literally couldn't. I, I don't want to eat anything else. I did set a piece of flapjack down, I thought. Where did I sit? You still got the hot chocolate and the grapefruit drink. I ain't making no hot chocolate. <clears throat> if you guys ain't seen a hot chocolate before, I'm sorry. I'm not making it. You got the grapefruit drink. I've seen a million of those. I drink those all the time. Um, I can't get over that hamburger patty. And all we have, the, uh, I mean, there's cream and sugar packets over here. Water purification tablets. I'll take the matches. Matches. There we go. And gum. Oh, you can keep that gum. That stuff's nasty. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Of it. I'll, I'll I'll chew a piece of the gum though. Why not? Sugar free. I'm pretty much done eating. Pretty close to it. I might finish this super thick and we sticky. Got, remember, this is the bad one. She got that leftover. You know, what we need to do. We need Look to get this. like we need to get like 15 people here and open a Cronus. And feast. And have 15 people each form a meal out of it and see if we can eat it all. It's supposed to have 15 meals in it, right? Yep, 15 meals. There'd be people fighting over certain I items, I'll that. bet. It's just potato flakes and freeze-dried beef and some yep. onion powder, garlic it's, powder. It's getting the, the beef reconstituted, though. That's a problem. Eh, I didn't mind it dry. <laughs> you know? Ruby says that would be an awesome idea. Yeah, we get Tracy, we get CT, um, get Jack of Trades down here. Who else can we get? Um, Whoever wants to show up, 15 people. It's going to be hard to get to want to eat a ration all at one time. <laughs> we just have to schedule a meetup. Mm -hmm. Here's the uh, sugar-free. Strong mint gum, no brand. On it. Just, it says on there, made for bestie foods. I remember Smitty that. And he says, when, brother, as soon as we can, you know how that old COVID thing's got everything shut down still. I do plan on trying to have a meet 
at my oh, wow. future home soon. So there you go. Was it plan on flying yeah, people in? Is that the cold one? Yeah. Yeah. What is that, T? Yeah, it's still a lot of powder at the bottom. <laughs> anyway, so there's the gum. It ain't strong at all. It's pretty weak. That's British. <laughs> it's not it's not strong. I mean, as far as like the mint flavor goes. Keep that. It's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. Everything's going in the trash except uh, some of the leftovers. I'll keep the biscuits brown. I'll keep the cake if we don't eat it. Um, you got the flat. This is the flatback you had. That is the fruit to. flatjack. Yeah, I'll just leave it in there. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, we pretty much ate this whole ration. Mm -hmm. Now there's stuff up here that uh, I really kind of wanted to get into a little bit. <clears throat> wanted to trust some of this stuff too. So what is what I'll do is bring a few of these things home to try on live streams. But like that one right there, it's uh chocolate cookies and cream mousse. Like you guys can order this at Minotaur right now. Oh, dude, that stuff is so awesome. I think this is like a whole dessert. SCT about that. <laughs> I mean that that's a lot of Oh, it's it's no that's gotta uh, make a lot that's sixteen ounce serving. Yeah, it's that's like twice the size you get at a five star restaurant. It's pretty good stuff. So that's probably going to be killer. What's the other flavor you got up there? I've got flip, three flavors over. of mousse. We got regular chocolate, chocolate, chocolate mousse, uh, cookies and cream, and then we've got chocolate, chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Chocolate, chocolate chip. Okay, yeah. That was in the Kronos, soon right? Soon to have, yeah. Soon to have uh, three more flavors coming up next week. And then there's also uh, the whipped toppings, which are right, right in there. Yeah, it was. Whipped this is the regular so. vanilla whip whip topping. I'm going to guess. Yep. This is the one I had earlier, and this is the one we had on top of the oatmeal block. And we've also got a <gasps> cookies and cream one. There's also a cookies and cream whip topping, which would probably be my favorite, because those are nice and light and fluffy. They, they're really custard And not well. overly sweet. Yeah. We have coming up later in the week, we have chocolate banana shake. Mm, chocolate banana shake. Chocolate banana need shake. need to add some and peanut butter in and there. And strawberry banana shake. Because chocolate and banana, eh. Chocolate you had some are good. peanut butter up in there, and then you got some. We have a new dessert that's chocolate bananas and peanut butter. Chocolate bananas and peanut butter. Well, guys, look, there's all kinds of stuff you can order if you want to. Don't show my <clears> ass now. <laughs> there's a mess on the table. I made that mess. <laughs> but yeah, like the uh, these cold weather rations. I don't know. You got Southwest style beef stew. Uh, Fiesta bowl. Oh, that which, Fiesta bowl's awesome. Didn't want, wasn't that the main one of those? It seemed like it. There's a the Titan down below too. Rosemary chicken. That's keto. Which is keto. You got more of those right there. Got some Titans left. Uh, got some. That's heavy. You got a crack and it's chili and ham and pinto stew, but that feels like it weighs about six pounds. Yep. Roughly. Right at yep. Pretty close. It's supposed to be 48 hours, but you can oh. last a lot longer than that. Here's a mini number one filled French toast with vanilla infused <laughs> cookies and cream whipped topping. Bob was pretty proud of this one. I am. I'm very earlier. proud of that one. Kaylin says I we got to call that here, milkshake right? the Elvis shake. Yeah, that's yeah, what's up there. Elvis shake, that'd be cool. Yep. But yeah, man, all, like, there's a lot of stuff here I definitely want to try out. Uh, Bob is definitely changing wow. things up from the typical ration items that you Strawberry see. Strawberry cheesecake. So we got some strawberry. That's a kit. That's a regular cheesecake. Yeah, strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. What do we got in here? <laughs> Contents is one cheesecake mix, one two ounce milk packet. Uh, the milk is that the same as like yes. the drink? Yep. So the milk. Oh, sorry. So the milk is amazing. It really is just like having regular milk. You just add super cold water to it, and you have milk. You have a graham cracker crumb packet and one packet of freeze dried strawberries. And there's okay. also whipped topping in there. And there's also a whipped topping, which is right here, which will really top off your cheesecake dessert. And we have a oh yeah, the spiced apple cider. That stuff's awesome. So Bob says he claims that this is uh, the closest thing that he's been able to find no. to the vintage spiced apple cider. It's identical. Bob says it's identical to the vintage apple ciders that used to come in rations. 
I'm a huge fan of the spiced apple cider out of the the old vintage. I don't know. Do they still they might have put that in they all the way. Still go in the the uh, cold weather general all purpose. You get a little pack of of the, but it's not the same kind that you used to get. Oh, we pack of survival general purpose. <clears throat> yep. Okay, okay, huh? So it's different now. What's coming? It's in red now. Packet. It's in a red. Yeah, it's uh, a little red pack, pack now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But this, I this is probably really good. I went through seventeen spiced apple ciders before I finally found that one. And something else about the Chronos, oops, that I wanted okay. to mention was it takes Bob and them almost five hours to put one of those together. And I'm sure it's not just one person. So it's a couple people working on it for five hours, putting one of those things that's together. After everything's been made. Package. No, that's that's including packaging. Is it and everything. packaging okay? Yep. But all those labels. Yeah. S'mores Delight. I mean, yeah, your packaging's expensive too. Uh, yeah. S'mores Delight. So you got Hershey's chocolate chips, mini marshmallows, and crushed graham crackers up in here. Put in the FRH. Yeah, you drop that down in FRH, heat it up. Oh, You just heat this up and it's ready to go. Phenomenal. I assume it's going to be ooey gooey whenever you yes. open it up, like some, some chocolate and some uh, marshmallow, just kind of stringy gooeyness coming out of there. Yeah, it's good stuff. So I'm going to move the camera over by the door. I'm going to grab a smoke out of my box that I brought with me. Have to lose power for no, a we're good. Oh, got it. Yeah, I mean, I can unplug. Actually, okay. we. I'm sure it's charged up. Oh, okay. we're going up for a cigarette. Yep. Oh, what's this? It's a non-filter camel should be. What's this light? It's just a wooden box that I carry everything around in. You want one? No. You go ahead. I'm not that big into the vintage smokes, man. Right. I mean, I like them, but my big thing was. When my dad and I at the last meetup opened oh. up that Vietnam Air Marble Reds, which is what he smoked when he was in Vietnam, and we shared one that was like a just a cool moment. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, definitely. I think that's awesome. I'm trying to recreate a moment like that right now. Proper, yeah. a project that I'm working on. Where at? Oh yeah, duh. I'm an idiot sometimes. That's cool. Let's do this. I'm tired, man. I'm getting late. All right, I'm gonna come over here in front of the camera. This. <sighs> um, good. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. So I have actually made some progress. On uh, yesterday, I did meet up with the editor that I've been talking to. We talked about some different ideas. That I have some projects that I want to work on and I actually started making some steps towards a project that I am currently trying to put together and work on and I don't care to share it with you guys about what my plan is and what I would like to do so I grew up in the American Legion in the VFW the American Legion that's literally in the in my backyard so I walked down there and was talking to them and my plan is to, to try to get some guys that served from 65 to 75, 70, you know, to 80, somewhere along in there, to talk about what kind of food experiences they had, what kind of, what was good, what was bad, what kind of foods did they like that they got served, what kind of foods did they hate that they were served, you know, just kind of get, and, and if they go off on any other type of story, I want to hear what they got, to, what they're willing to talk about. Now, a lot of guys don't want to talk about that stuff, and I totally understand that, and I, I would never... Uh, pressure anyone to talk about it and I would also not use any type of footage that if they decided after we talked that they wouldn't want to wouldn't want anybody to hear what they had to say so hopefully I can get some some stories out of some guys that uh, are willing to talk about it and then at the end of me interviewing them with their story and letting them tell their story I'm gonna break out some Vietnam types era food and offer to let them eat that food if they would like to. Now, I'm going to have some 1979, 1980 type MCI, you know, it's going to look like the same stuff they had. It's just going to be as fresh as it can possibly be and most likely edible. So, you know, most one, likely. Yeah, well, I'm going to definitely <laughs> test out the bats that I get these out of and make sure that uh, at least the crackers will be good. Because I would say just being able to taste those crackers again would probably be a pretty big step for them and uh 
bring back a lot of memories. So that's something I've been thinking about that I would like to try to do. Uh, a lot of the guys that, that served for pre-72, they all remember the cigarettes, so definitely uh, break some of those out. You guys want to try those out or whatever. Uh, that'll be another fun experiment. But yeah, that's kind of something that, that I, I've been taking steps towards. I have walked down, I've started the communication, and uh, it's not going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be. I thought, it, you know, because when I walked in there, it honestly felt like home. It felt like I was back. Nothing's changed in there. They have, they still have the same pool table. They still have the same shuffleboard. The only thing that's missing is the, the, the ping pong table that me and my grandpa used to play on whenever I was a kid. But I learned how to play pool in there, learned how to play shuffleboard in there, learned how to play ping pong in there. And uh, yeah, I mean, I literally spent my childhood, my young childhood in the American Legion and the VFW. We were there every day. And uh, I don't know, I bet we spent probably two to four hours in the Legion and probably one to three hours in the VFW. It just depended on which one we stayed at longer that day or which one was having a drawing or whatever and uh, spent a lot of time in there with him and uh he, he was dedicated to the american legions and bfws he did all the uh, honor guards where you know someone passed away he would be out there doing the 21 gun salute it's him and two other guys that would do it and i the main thing i remember about because i went to a lot of funerals a lot of funerals with him and every time we would go he would give me a little silver cross uh, pin that I would put on a hat and I still have all those little silver crosses at the house and uh, yeah that's something I'll never forget so anyways there's a lot of stuff in there that I just pointed out to you guys that's all new stuff to me there's also don't forget about that chocolate milk and the, the regular milk because to be able to have milk in a if you're the type to go camping and stuff like that you're not going to want to carry milk with you first of all but what if you want to have a bowl of cereal or something you can literally have a bowl of cereal with milk take your dry cereal take one of those milk packets add you some ice cold water that you somehow came up with where hopefully it's cold outside at least you're going to have milk whether it's warm or cold and you can have yourself a bowl of, of cereal in the morning because the milk thing is really still built it blew my mind whenever i had it when i was here last time and i'm still impressed with it today so i would say if you haven't tried it try it because uh I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the milk man yeah. did you ever do the strawberry milk we did we did do you have that milk? yeah we have strawberry chocolate and regular so when i was here last <clears throat> time there was no strawberry you ever had banana milk it was just strawberry What's and uh, How do you get milk chocolate out of banana Squeeze it hard. What was it, Jack said? How do you get milk out of something? Oh, I don't want to say. I think he was talking about almond milk or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that milk is freeze-dried milk. It's not. It's not something that's designed yeah, to look and taste like. Yeah, how many gallons to get? A Nineteen pound? gallons to get one, one pound, pound of freeze-dried milk. Yep. So oh, nineteen gallons of milk to get one pound of the dry powder. It's good stuff. But it, it's. It's freeze-dried milk. It's it's legitimately milk. It's not some sort of substitute. It's not some sort of, you know, it's not your condensed milks and stuff like that. It's just milk. So, yeah, if you're lactose intolerant, it will mess you up. There you go. So if you're lactose intolerant, it'll mess you up. I am, I guess it happens to everybody the older they get. Yeah. You become a lot less tolerant of lactose and I have became that way because obviously if I eat ice cream or anything like that, I'm going to have a stomach ache. But at the same time, I'll still eat that ice cream and have that stomach ache because I just like ice cream, I guess. I don't know. I switched to sherbet. There's, there's also, I like sherbet. Yep. There's also all coconut milk ice cream and almond milk ice cream. Speaking of which, if you like orange sherbet, that orange cream sickle with oh. some Coke. No, that cream sickle drink mix it. he's got. You ever have you tried that? Has he tried no. the orange cream <clears throat> What? Sickle? No, did you try the orange cream sickle drink mix? Did I not. Oh, no. you got to try that, man. All right, we're going to move the camera back inside. It's cold out here, and I didn't bring a jacket. Are we done with the view tank? Yeah, it's it's cold. Okay, so I guess there's uh, – I think we showed that in, in dubs. Yeah. Um, which, guys, my chat's not working, by the way. Let me uh, – I'm going to stand here and watch the chat for a few minutes. 
And uh, then I got to pack up my cold weathers again, and um, I got to try to not forget here, stuff. I bet there is. <laughs> I didn't want you're going to have a hard time. You're going to have a hard time prying any of these out of my hands. Every I'll one of these menus. Up, I'll let you fill up five boxes of whatever you want here. <laughs> uh, that ain't fair. <laughs> well, no, because I'd let you fill up five boxes anyway. <laughs> That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I know. I'm going uh, to try this, though. I'm going to go get some cold water. I'm going to mix this up. What are we mixing up? The orange the cream, cream sickle. sickle. Cream you, sickle. You like orange cream yeah. sickle? Okay. Yeah, I used to eat the orange with the, yeah, yeah. with the, yeah. It's the same recipe as an orange Julius. Oh, okay. It's so like what you get it. Yep. So you uh, mix it up, drink it, it's pretty good, but you pour it over ice and hit it in the blender, you've got an orange Julius. Okay. It's a phenomenal drink mix. Well, I got to try that then, too. I'm taking mm-hmm. one of them home with me, probably. Take I got a, a bullet, a nature bullet, right? Is that what they're called? Something like that, a bullet. I don't know. I oh, got the little bullet blenders? Last Christmas, yep. and I never have used it. But yeah, I was saying I'll stand here and watch the chat and talk to you guys for a second. Uh, 39 degrees right now. Oh my goodness. Let me see. Uh, it's it's about that right now. We're having a cold front. Yeah, I heard that on the news <laughs> like early this morning and I, I didn't think 49. about it. It's 49 degrees and clear. <clears throat> but it's going to get down to uh, 45 before sunrise. Now, so it's going to get cold tonight and... For some reason, I walked out of the house without my jacket, which I, I was trying to grab a bunch of stuff and bring with me. I did bring some stuff with me. Uh, yes, if you want to show this powder form, smell it. Yep. Well, that's a lot of powder. Can't really, I mean, it's got a light orange tint to it. Ooh, it smells creamy. Right. And orangey. The orange isn't as, I don't know, it's just like, it's. It's there, orange but and it's cream, like in the background. Yeah, but it's great. It, it smell like it smells like orange and cream. I mean, six almost perfect. Six ounces of there water. Here we go. All right, I'll dump it in there. It definitely turned orange as soon as that water hit it. That's for sure. Here's your fresh cream. All right, mix this bad boy up. Looks like it's going to be thick. Yeah. Okay. Um. Go Is that the point? Kind of like a smoothie? No, you don't want it that thick. Add two more ounces. I always add six ounces of water. Looks like tomato juice. And then I stir it a little bit, then I add some more. No. Kind of looks like tomato juice. Yeah. Orange tomato juice? Yeah. 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 You know, like uh, like tomato soup. That's yes. what I was looking for. Yep. Yeah. Made with real sugar? What's it made with? Always. Always real sugar. Yep. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the uh, the fake the sweeteners. Only, yeah, the only thing we have with the fake sweetener is that uh, the clear drink mix. The clear drinks, yeah. And I'm trying to get rid of all of those. I kind of those <laughs> those are like the best ones for the. I like those actually. They have enough flavor. No aftertaste. And that's what I like. About they're them. not they're not weird yeah. about the the fake sweetener that's in them. This you? Oh, good. Good. Go well, I yeah, won't drink the whole thing, yeah. so I'll split it up. That should be thick, but not too thick. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's right. kind of thick. It's I'd still say. got a little bit of power at the bottom, but St- oh, okay. Where'd you find the Cash Express cups? Oh, I never look in the cupboard. Okay. If we don't have any on the counter, I just assume we're out. Uh, there is some powder still in the bottom, I guess. It's still pretty red. Good well. Stuff. Yeah. A little bit more water. Usually, uh, I like the less water, the better. It just depends on the drink mix. Yeah, but try it out. You could, you could pin it on if you do. I don't know if that was in the cup, maybe. That, that yeah, might be. Cup. See it? Yeah. Whoa, that's rich. Very citrusy. Mm. Lightly creamy. Not as creamy as I thought it was going to be from the smell. Yeah. Man, I could see that over some ice, though. Holy cow. Right. It's got a really nice orange, natural orange flavor to it. Like Mm. the... That drink makes... It's it's like orange zest. Exclusive to Dub C's rations. Really? 
You can only get it on the Dub. Well, the it's, only way you can get that is on the Dub C website. You can buy it individually on there. Yep. Or in a Dub C ration. It'd be good for store dot com. Be good with breakfast or. Uh, it's really good with breakfast. <clears throat> I've got to try that with the blender though. Also good as like a dessert drink after dinner at night, sitting around the fire. Yeah. Got a lot of vitamin C in it. Yeah. Yes. Full day's worth of vitamin C and B12. Oh, okay. Well, that's definitely a, a unique drink mix. I've never seen anything like that before in any other ration. That's going to bother me. i got to figure out what that is. It wouldn't have been in the powder had it been in the cup. It almost looks like a piece of orange. Seriously. <laughs> Doesn't it? I'm going to try it. He's <laughs> not going to eat it and see what it, it is. Might be. It's a piece of fruit. There you go. It's a piece of orange, like a, like Dry. a mandarin orange, yeah. kind of like a, huh. it's kind of what it, the texture and stuff and the color and the flavor, blood orange. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's what it reminds me of, like a blood orange. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely a piece of fruit though. So is there freeze dried fruit in it too? Like, is that powder? Yeah. The, the powder that it comes from is freeze dried. It tastes like fruits. Straight up dried oranges. Orange zest. Mm -hmm. So it might have just been a bigger like if you, chunk that you, you know, if you were to take a, a mandolin and just kind of yeah. zest one off, yeah. that's what that flavor is. It's Watch got your it. fingers with the mandolin. Slice you up. I'm not a big mandolin user. I'd prefer a knife. But if I have to grade some cheese or something, obviously. We had, we've bought some of those stupid over the years as seen on TV things. That, yes. You know, different cutters and stuff over the years my old lady amber has cut her fingers on them things like deep deep she's had some cuts like almost to the bone on them things man she's not she's not very good at using a knife either she's cut herself with a with a knife more times than she'll probably ever admit but uh yeah gotta learn how to use them big old heavy knives we got a, well i've got a kitchen knife right now it probably weighs about a little bit over a pound it's really heavy very wow. heavy chef knife nice and it is my buddy that used to be my neighbor whenever he was getting ready to move he was throwing all his kitchen knives and crap away and i was like dude i was like give me that stuff and i looked through it took like the knife and that knife was in there and it's that thing holds the sharpest edge of any knife <clears throat> that i've ever had nice it's a I really like a good good heavy kitchen knife yeah this is a this is a it's bad to the bone, man. But all right, guys. I'm sure I've kept you on here long enough. Two and a half hours. It's got to be 11 o'clock. I'm going to kill like that. that discount code in 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Bob, tw uh, Bob, Bob 20. 20. Bob 20. If you guys want to catch that. You got 25 more minutes from right now, which is, hang on. 11.05 Eastern Time. So it will take you to 11.30. Prop, uh, uh, basically till 11.30 is whenever uh, the discount code will be gone. If, so if you want to pick yourself up something for 20% off, it's Bob20, Dub C store. You got Dub 15 for your 15% off over there. Now, that doesn't end at 1130. That will continue for any first-time users that see this live stream. So if it's the first time you visited the site, there's a thing set up, so you obviously won't let you order twice and use the code twice. So you can go over there and get your 15% off. Get you one of these drink mixes. It's the only place you can get it, cause uh, it's definitely worth a try. Uh, you can mix it up all kinds of different ways. I would say. And you get a chance at the Cronus if you tip over ten dollars. That drink mix is really good with rum, by the way. Just if you're a rum drinker, you can rum it up with uh with the orange. Oh, that's a killer drink. I would say that this would uh this would probably mix well with a lot of different alcohol type drinks because it's so strong mm -hmm. that it would most likely overpower a lot of different alcohols. Mm. So if you're into that and trying 20 or trying 25 minute, trying different uh, alcohol drinks with stuff like that, that would be a perfect, I don't, there's so many different military drink mixes and drink mixes Bob has that if you wanted to get into making different camping drinks, like you oh, could yeah. really get into it that way. Peach, cherry, and tropical blast. Perfect with rum and vodka. You got peach too? Oh yeah. I, I never, I didn't know that. Oh, that peach drink's phenomenal. I see a vanilla shake up there. I didn't know anything about that. Chocolate shake. Chocolate vanilla shake. shake. Uh, vanilla protein shake also. 
And then over there's the whipped toppings, the spiced apple cider. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you're going to want to go on the website and try to find look, find all this stuff and look at it. You know, check your prices and 20% off right now for 20 some more minutes, about 20 more minutes. And uh, and then over on Dub C store, I have no idea what's over there. I just found out about that when I got here. So just you guys it today. just got that site just came up today. So you guys can uh, go over there and tinker around with that website as well. And this has been a 24 hour. Uh, I've been searching for these for a year. 24 hour UK cold climate. Uh, awesome ration. Had some awesome. really unique items in it with that beef, uh, the beef patty. I don't know what it was called. It wasn't exactly called a beef patty. They called it a beef burger. Okay, so the beef burger. And this had uh, also had the, uh, did we do menu two? What did we do? Menu eight, right? Menu eight. Oh, yeah. So this one had the uh, cottage pie in it, which was with beef, which was really good. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's some more additional information if anybody anybody cares. You can check all that out, all kinds of nutritional information. That's what I was looking for on some of the stuff and I couldn't find it. It's because it's on a sheet that comes in there. Like every there's not enough of these sheets for everybody to hand a meal out to. So all right, guys. Thank you guys. Thanks to everybody who sent in a super chat. I'm gonna go through that list really quick. Um, we're gonna start out at the very top and come to the bottom. MRE kid. We had Smitty, Horny Animal, Ryan Outdoors, The Quantum Potato, MRE Kid, Andrew W., Ryan Outdoors again, History Savior, 1941, The Quantum Potato again, MRE Kid again, Miss Sunshine, uh, Side of Life, 77, and then we had The Quantum Potato two more times, three more times. Wow, thank you, Quantum Potato. Uh, the MRE Kid, History Savior, MRE Kid again, The Quantum Potato again, I'm into pain, uh, Eric Howard, and CT. So that was everybody who sent in super chats. Oh, Thank you guys so much for the super chats. I, I super duper appreciate it. You guys take advantage of that 20% off. Or you get whatever you want over there. I appreciate you guys coming in to the live stream. Uh, it's a long drive to get here. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And this was a freaking awesome ration. It was great to be able to share it because, like I said, I mean, me sitting down trying to eat a 24-hour ration just – it's too much food for me to sit down and eat in one setting. If I film a video, I can split it up into different meals and then bunch all those videos that I shoot apart together. So I shoot it over three days, typically over like five or six days, and then put it all together. But being able to sit down and, and have a whole ration at one time and pretty much eat the majority of everything that was there is a really, really good experience because, like I said, it's not something I usually get to do. But all right, guys, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in. And uh, this was the Saturday Night Smoke Show. And uh, all I got left to do, oh, yeah, thanks to each and every one of my patrons. I got to say that at the end of every video. Thank you guys so much for being over there. Uh, like I said, I got a tray I'm going to be giving away over there. I've got some other stuff saved up that I'm going to be giving away. And, uh, yeah, all I got left to do is say thank you guys for watching. And thanks, I'll, everyone. And Bob says thanks to everybody. Have a great night. right here. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next live stream. Later.